you have a picture of your loved ones, you can just wave them when he say, when he say, receive your healing now. Wave the pictures of your family members. If you don't have a picture, you can write down the name of the person that is sick. That you just wave it to the Lord. The presence of the Lord is in the place. When you will touch your person. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just lift your faith, your eyes of faith, your hearts are to the Lord, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. As this man of God, the mightiest prophet of the Lord, steps on to, into this ground. Yes, it was beginning to happen. But I can tell you, it can still start happening now. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. It can still happen now. Because right now, I know he is praying. I know he's you know the eyes of the Lord are on you. Are upon you. He's looking at you right now. At your face. And he's going to respond to your face. Even right now. Even if your face is as little as a mustard seed, there is nothing impossible that the Lord for you. If you are fighting in him, just believe in him. Just believe in him. Just believe in the Lord. That when his servant, the mightiest prophet, comes in, steps upon this ground. Oh, this is a holy ground. This is a holy ground. This is a holy ground. Where your healing is. Where your deliverance is. Where your, where your favor is. Where your Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, believe, 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 believe.
by his servant, the mightiest prophet of the Lord. Have faith in that word, believe it, with all your hearts. Darkness will be conquered. Disability will be, shall be conquered in the name of Jesus Christ. Oppression shall be conquered in the name of Jesus. Sickness shall be conquered in the name of Jesus. In your life. For it has already been done. It was done on the cross of Calvary. Just believe. Believe even for somebody who's not here. Believe for your mother. Believe for your sister. Believe for your cousin. Believe for your grandmother, for your grandfather, for your auntie. For the uncle who is not here, believe for him. Believe for him. Because what God Almighty is going to be doing in this place is going to be unpredictable. They said that in Namibia, there shall never be anything like it in this nation, in this great city. Just believe. Behind you there are multitudes. Behind you there are many. Believe. Behind you there are witnesses of your miracle. Even in heaven, there are multitudes of witnesses. Behind you. Of what the Lord God Almighty is going to do for you. Let us believe. Let us believe. Let us believe. Just believe. Let us believe. Just believe. Only believe. And I'll tell you all things are possible. Things are possible. Believe in the grace, the command of the Lord, the command of the Holy Spirit, who is now witnessing in your hearts, who is now speaking to you in your hearts, and is now witnessing to you. That Jesus is the healer. The Lord Jesus Christ is the healer. Believe it. Believe it. And it shall be well with you. Believe the way that the mightiest prophet of the Lord shall speak to you. Believe that way. Believe that proclamation and it shall be well with you. That's all you have to do. Believe, believe in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So as the mightiest prophet of the Lord arrives in enter this year, just be in jubilation. Just in, be in jubilation. Do the lights. Do the way far. This is for what we say, do the way far. Do the lights. Rejoice in the Lord as the servant of the Lord God Almighty, the mightiest prophet enters the ground. Break forth with joy, leap with joy, jump with joy. Jump with joy. Let's revere the Lord God Almighty. 
mighty. Who is working through his mightiest servant, the prophet of the Lord? Let us honor him, let us glorify him when he enters here. When he enters here. I tell you, we be joining together with the millions, billions, trillions of the hosts of heaven. As they will be rejoicing for your salvation, as they will be rejoicing for your healing. For your miracle, for your deliverance, for your breakthrough, in the name of Jesus. So as the servant of the Lord enters, the mood must change, the atmosphere must change, the environment must change. You must rejoice. You must begin to live with God. Allow the Holy Spirit to deliver you as you worship. As you worship. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you worship in the name of Jesus Christ. He is here. He is here. He is here. He is here.
begin to rejoice in your heart. Rejoice in your heart. Believe the decree. The declaration. Just believe.
tell you. Do whatever he tells you to do. That is what Mary told the servants. Christ tells them to do. They obeyed. You are here. They obeyed. You are here. They obeyed. The servant of the most high God. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Do it. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Stay tuned. He's here. Let's pray.
the mightiest prophet of the Lord. They are going to crumble. Just 
you blind one But you shout it even the more Let your heart so shout That your face shall be changed That your name shall be changed Of them that were touched by God On the 21st of May 2017 When the mightiest prophet of our time Was walked in this land Oh hallelujah
time. We thank you, Lord. Hey, let us worship you. Mighty. Let us worship the Lord God of heaven. The God of Israel.
to you. Where is my reward? He just wants us to love him back by having faith in him. Knowing that he's holding us.
can go through for a lot. Him because we trust him. We love him because he loved us first. Not only did he die for us on the cross, he sent him, his end time prophet to a small country like in Namibia. A small country like in Namibia. Hallelujah. Covered by a desert on one side and a Kalahari side. of people but yet he that is the grace of God that is the grace of God
going to walk here with power and authority to heal. With authority and power to all the powers of the enemy. Even with authority and power to doubt in your life. Today you shall not go without a miracle. Because the Lord our God is working in our midst.
Yeah. Because our Heavenly Father is here. He has said his greatest, mightiest prophet of our time. That he might touch the souls of Namibia. That he might heal all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. That the blind might see. That the crippled might walk. Hallelujah! Today is our day. The devil is a loser and a liar. Hallelujah! state in your life. Today, give him, give him particles. Give him his last lunch. Give him cook quickly before the mighty prophet comes. Give him eat and to drink. Give him that is what he does in your life because you will never see him again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today you shall no longer entertain the devil. I 
is already being laid upon you.
started. And on the 8th of August, 2018, it came to pass. How many of you heard the quaking, the shaking that was in Namibia? It happened in Benduk. It happened in Marienta. It happened in Bambolat. There are people who heard the shaking. Some will say, yeah. Hallelujah, you heard it, eh? How many heard it? That in Namibia was going to be shaken. You heard it on the 6th of April, 2010. And it came to pass on the 8th of August, 2013. Hallelujah. Shaken. We were shaken. Just to be warned. Now we have to repent as a nation. We must repent and turn back to the Lord our God. Hallelujah. The time is now to repent and turn away from all wicked ways. And we return to the God of Israel, the creator of heaven and the universe. He who loves you so much. to come and change your life. Hallelujah! Oh, you are much more
come and say, oh, 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 Shall 
The gift of the Holy Spirit is what you are going to have today. You are your life shall never be the same again.
just stay here today. This is the day the Lord has created and given us as a gift. What a blessing to be in Namibia. Big things are going to happen here tonight. Very mighty things. I have seen them happening already here. The Lord is going to touch people here. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. I see some babies walking here. I see deaf babies here opening here. And people, mature people. The Lord is God. He is the Lord, our Creator. What a beautiful country, a beautiful stadium. We can one day come back, right? nations are here. I know South Africa is here. And also uh, Botswana and Zambia. I've just seen the flag there. Hallelujah. And which other country? What? Angola is definitely here. <laughs> Hallelujah. And many nations of this region are here. And globally somewhere maybe we are live also. So the whole world is here tonight. I want to say this beloved people. That first of all it's such a big blessing for the Lord to send me to you. At this very critical time in the history of the church. At a time when everybody, look at the little children jumping like that. Very beautiful there. Yeah. This great time in the history of the church. At a time when uh, everybody knows that surely, surely we are sitting on the verge of a major, major visitation in the church. Hallelujah. All people can see sometimes when you watch your news, then you understand. You understand that time has changed. You understand quickly that this earth is winding down we are winding down everything on this earth we are going home hallelujah and that's why the lord has sent me here today to speak to you briefly and then we enter slowly into the healing service it's going to be very mighty here and uh i have seen a lot of healings here the lord is going to visit you in a mighty way now um at this time I want to address myself to a few things before we start. Can you sit down just for a moment, beloved people? Very precious nation of Namibia. Finally we are here. The footprint is here. In the name of Jesus. Now, uh, in the past two days, I had a serious conversation. The conversation of the Lord with the church. And I know that some of you may have been there, some of you may not have been there. And in that serious conversation, the Lord addressed himself um, to the condition of the church. He addressed himself to very important issues affecting the pulpit, the condition of the pulpit, 
of the house of the Lord in this land and in the process he spoke to the entire church in this land and in that talking with the entire church beloved people of Namibia he was able to hand down certain very important instruction to the church that this is the hour for the house of the Lord to return to righteousness he spoke that very clearly without any confusion sit down my daughter as I talk for a moment and so he said that number one the church is still the bride of Christ and so if there is a definition in the Bible on the identity of the bride of Christ that she is holy that she is righteous that the bride of Christ has full faith in Christ Jesus full faith remember the Lord asks that when the Son of Man comes will he really find any faith left here at all so she has full faith in Christ she is without spot without wrinkle she has no stain so that scripture still stands and much more at this hour and that's why in finishing this short part before we start the healing service here the Lord spoke very clearly to the church and he said only repentance can turn a nation from the path to destruction the path to hell you all know hell infierno the furnace the burning fire eternal fire where the worms never die only repentance can really turn a nation from that course and bring her back to the way of the Lord and change her destiny that she may see eternity with Jehovah hallelujah so that important information came out very clearly to you those who are not there now you're having it and the Lord said very clearly that he has loved you Namibia he has loved you because many nations are born in another religion they are born knowing another God but you have been born knowing Christ Jesus the Lord hallelujah some people are born Muslims Hindu or whatever and they grow up knowing nothing else other than that and that's why you must understand the grace of God over you that you may not abuse the grace you may capture it beloved people but when the Messiah comes you enter eternity in heaven I spoke clearly that I have seen the entry of the church I've seen the church enter eternity heaven and the Lord has taken me to heaven and shown me when the church is also inside heaven so these events are going to materialize on the earth they are going to realize when the church will be taken away and that event I want to bring to you is an irretrievable event irreversible event so we'd rather prepare well because when it takes place you cannot rewind it hallelujah and so right now as I finish this part that we may enter the healing service of the Lord I want to say this that holiness is holiness that the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 he says make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy and then he completes it by saying for without holiness nobody meaning no nation nobody 
we see the Lord. And that's why my coming to your blessed nation may be a beautiful country. My coming to you is essentially to come back to you and reestablish the authority of the gospel of the cross and the blood. And that is the cross and the blood that is going to heal people here today also. Hallelujah. And that without the cross and the blood, we have no salvation. I know in the past, the enemy has enticed you with many things. The gospel of prosperity, so a seed and get what? But now, enough is enough. Time is over. Let us go back to the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, that He may now prepare our people unto Him in this place. Listen as I finish. In the Bible, when the Lord was about to visit Egypt, it was a tremendous time in Egypt. And we are not reading because it's in the book of Exodus 12. We read a little bit in the conference, but because of time, I need to summarize this for you. In Exodus 12, you hear him talk. In fact, he begins from Exodus 11. If you begin 11 verse 4 to 7, he begins to talk about coming to visit Egypt in a tremendous way. And in that visit of Egypt, he said he's coming to liberate his people. He has seen the suffering of his people. The pains of the suffering of his people has touched his heart. So he said, I want to come. I am coming down there to set my people free. And when he says he's coming down there to set his people free, in Egypt you had the Egyptians, the natives of Egypt, and then according to the promise to Abraham, he promised he would build forth a great nation of Israel in Egypt. So Israel was there also. But he said when he comes to strike Egypt, he would strike every firstborn in Egypt. And then, as he says he's coming to strike every firstborn in Egypt, he says, in fact, if you look at chapter 11, verses 4 on, you almost fear because he says you strike literally everybody. And that included the slave. He said, the slave and slave girl. And I know who the slaves were. That was Israel. So you almost fear is coming to strike even Israel in Egypt. Because they were reading the same poems, singing the same songs, eating some fruits, doing some life. They were talking together and living the same lifestyle of sin. The house of Jacob and Egypt. So I understood that really, really the wages of sin is death. However, when you read on, then it says, however, you shall know that the Lord makes a distinction between the house of Jacob and Egypt. And he says, not because of the moral excellence of Egypt, of Israel, house of Jacob. Hallelujah. Not because of the moral excellence of the Israelites. Not at all. They didn't have that. Not because of their right standing with God, their righteousness. Not at all. Not because of their holiness. But he says, Thou shalt know it. You will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel strictly based 
on the blood of the Lamb. And I have come to tell this nation that this is the hour when there is going to be a big visitation on the earth. The rapture of the church, the taking of the church. And he says, in Egypt they waited for the midnight hour. And when the midnight hour was near, they were instructed to take the blood of the lamb without defect. And after they have slaughtered, to sprinkle on the doorposts and the door frames, that when Jehovah Yahweh comes and he sees the blood, he sees the blood, he will deliver them. But we find ourselves in Namibia right now at the same place where we are waiting for the midnight hour. And the Lord is saying that for you now, in John chapter 1, 29, He says, when He saw Jesus coming, He says, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. So Christ Jesus is our perfect Lamb of God without defect, without blemish, without mistake, without error. Hey! So he's saying, considering that the midnight hour is near, the rules of the midnight hour apply now in the church. He's saying, back to the gospel of the cross and the blood. That if you now be covered by the blood, when the Messiah comes, Hallelujah. When the Messiah comes, when the glory comes, when the king arrives and he sees the blood of Jesus covering you, covering your hearts, then he says, he shall take you to the kingdom. He will take you into the safety of heaven as other things that I have seen happen to the earth will begin to happen. Bad things, tremendous, historic, shocking. And that's why I want to ask you on this day, ever since you have come here, or ever since you received the Lord, are you really covered by the blood of Jesus? Because I read for the bishops and the pastors in the conference, Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 to 6, and I read for them, I also told them about Hebrews 10, 26, 31. you can continue and that's why I want to encourage you as we begin this healing service night to make sure you are covered by the blood once you are covered by the blood you know it there are certain movies you can't watch there are certain friends God will remove from your company certain phone calls you cannot do you see the phone ringing and you say no 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 this man lasts at me I cannot take this phone you know there, there is a certain wisdom that comes to you and so I want us to begin by receiving the Lord for those who want before we enter the healing service. If you feel you want to receive the Lord, just rise up and then uh, 
this is how we begin our service tonight. Or we can all rise up then. That's easier to say, right? And then now, uh, the Lord will help you. Those who want to receive, just repeat this prayer. Say, Dear Jesus, I come to you tonight and ask you to cover me with your precious blood. The blood of deliverance. The blood that has power. And change me. Change my ways. And give me a holy salvation. And establish me in holiness and righteousness. Precious Jesus, remember my family, my ministry, even as you come at the midnight hour for the glorious bride of the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight, I am born again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now slowly by slowly, that exact song you're playing, my son. Slowly by slowly, we are going to start to transition into the healing service here. And I want to say that we will worship a little bit. Then at a certain point, Everything is going to change here. Amen. Everything will now change in this place. Amen. And at that point, you hear me make an announcement here. That from this point on, nothing else matters now. Whatever the doctors may have written against your name. Whatever the prognosis, whatever, whoever may have said chronic or more painful or terminal or incurable it will not matter at that point but what will matter is only one and one thing that the blood of Jesus is still flowing it is still flowing and taking away sin and healing diseases and setting people free so I will sing first and then they will join later. Let me start here. I want to sing unto the Lord first as we start this.
wonderful healing service of Jehovah tremendous one here and I want us to just worship slowly as we enter into that healing service this same worship song hallelujah the universal language we will worship in heaven hallelujah all tribes all colors all nations all whatever we will worship hallelujah unto the Lord on that day in heaven and if you don't mind, just keep standing as we are walking into this healing service. Hallelujah. 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 Be right tonight here. It's going to be mighty here. We're going to encounter the God of Israel in a tremendous manner.
listen beloved people right now I want to announce this to you to those of you here even those of you in your homes abroad this applies to you indeed but many times on this life's journey probably you've been afflicted by the sorrows of this world the pains of this life sometimes you don't have answers you have asked all the questions that there are to be asked why me lord why my home why my legs why my sight why the cancer why this situation you may have been afflicted by the going down on this earth but i want to announce to you beginning this moment exact moment here that at this time we are sitting on the verge of a major visitation that the lord is going to visit people here in a very major way and at this time it will not matter anymore what the doctors physicians specialists surgeons nurses medical practitioners have written against your name have allocated you what they have assigned to your name sometimes you may be cancer just a few hours ago the lord will show me somebody with cancer of the colon here colon it may be deafness or a crippled baby it may be a wound that never has healed spinal cord injuries broken backs broken ribs cancers of the breasts and many other conditions but i want to declare to you today that right now as i speak none of those will matter anymore but what will matter in this place beginning now is that the blood of jesus is right now flowing still flowing washing away sins and also cleaning out disease healing men and women and setting them free so we're going to worship a little bit then i'll say short prayer normally to be three to five minute prayer or one to three minute prayer after that they will enter now into the healing service worship to me on your feet someone remove the seats from the worship team the Lord to visit the worship in first in a very mighty way make sure you watch your keyboard that nobody hit their heads of the keyboard remove the speakers microphones the Kenyans know this better thank you Kimani for beating Litwanda thank you Kimani for defeating them I want the Lord to visit the worship in first but he'll visit you too right lift up your hands everybody standing on your feet here standing there guarding that keyboard on your own but nobody hit their head on the keyboard look at that 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 the visitation of the lord has arrived here 
somebody cover them well honorably Co cover 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 look for something to cover cover everybody over here to lift up your hands everywhere here the lord is going to visit you here in a very very mighty way the worship team that are remaining lift up your hands up and close your eyes lift up your hands high up and close your eyes everybody move away from there step away from them the usher step away from them the worship team lift up your hands and lift and close your eyes mighty father lord i ask you now to visit the worship team over there and touch 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 How about you? Lift up your hands, everybody in here. But the Lord may visit you. Lift up your hands, that the Lord may visit you. Mighty Father. I ask you, my Father. Now visit this place, Jehovah. The Lord stretch your long outstretched arm and touch these people over here, all across here. Like that, my father. Sharp metals by the tent, so we don't want anything to happen here. Help them, help them, please. Just a second, help. Ashes, can you run the Litunda over there? Litunda, there next to you, there. Litunda, why are you blind? Help these people. Kenyans, you can help them, you know better. Let nobody hit the metals, there are metals there, okay? uh, my son, you stand near those metals, I don't want, there are metals by the tent, I don't want anyone to hit the metal. Stand around the tent, every metal, every metal, you yeah, stand like that, like that, every metal, every metal, I don't want anyone to touch the metal, cover it, stand fake, we'll cover the metal, cover the metal, you cover the metal, my daughter, cover the metal, cover it. Cover the metal, put your leg like this to cover the metal. Yes, so no, inside. So nobody hit the metal, yeah. Now, over here, mighty father. Remove the baby, remove the head, help, take, take care of the baby, take care of the baby. She's got, Kenyans, help, can you bring them forward here? Kenyans now to carry them, five people, one person. Nobody hit a chair. Over there, mighty father, now touch them and touch here and touch there and touch there and touch there and touch there. Cover every metal, no, but little metal, please. I beg you, because you use metals for the tents. We don't use metals. Kenyans, have you carried them out here? Okay, the Twinder is having trouble. Remove the chair and cover them honorably and blessedly as we enter into this healing service of the Lord. Over here now, lift up your hands, all of you here, and close your eyes, beloved people of Jehovah. Can you stay away, beloved people? Stay away. Can you stay? You are crossing and I'm saying stay away. Can you lift up your hands very high, my daughters here, my sons, and close your eyes. Mighty Father, Lord, I ask you to visit these people and turn there and touch them and touch them and touch them and touch them and touch them. Help them. And bring them out. Please, five people, five people, carry. Thank you, Kimani. I did not know that I should be bringing you not Litunda. 
put them down there honorably, honorably and cover them very honorably. Help them. Nobody touch a metal here. Thank you very much for stepping on it. Mighty Holy Spirit, look, you are my one and only friend. I welcome you here, blessed Holy Spirit. You know each and every condition of these people that need your healing and those that need your deliverance, my Father. The Holy Spirit, God the Father, my one and only friend, Lord, help these people tonight and visit them in a very tremendous way in their conditions. And Lord, I lift up my left prophetic arm towards heaven, towards you, Jehovah, and decree that I have no other friend, Jehovah, and that in the mighty name of Jesus, now you help these people and build a testimony in this place that they may love Jesus eternally. And so, Lord, I decree now that your visitation has consumed this place, my Father. That everybody will feel the touch of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From everywhere now. Now, beautiful situation here. Listen to me, even those at home. Make sure you don't miss your visitation. Kimani, that was very good. Really, that way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Put it down there. Over there. Just help them and cover them honorably. Now listen to me, beloved people. Wherever you are all over here, from this place all the way to this way. Everybody in here. Now the healing anointing of the Lord has arrived here. And you can now receive your healing. Everybody here. It does not matter your condition now. If there was a baby that cannot walk, you can put them down. If there was a face, a, a, a blind child, help people there. It's tremendous there. Somebody help there. Thank you, Zachary. Thank you, Kitalus. Whatever the condition we see here. Oh. The anointing of the Lord is here, beloved people. Receive your healing now. The deaf babies, the blind. The mute, everybody receive your healing right now. Over there, Tosha, to the Tosha. Don't step down. There, there, there. Put there. Put there. Uh, put. Help people. There is a visitation here now. You've got a five, ten people. Hold the chair. Put down there. Down there is a good, good, good there. Good there. Good there. Good there. Down there, little Down there. Down there. Down there. Enough. Over there now. Even inside there. I'm going to stretch my hand all over here and the Lord will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. Down there, Baka, is Tosha. Everybody now, beginning from here, look at that. Now lift them. Oh! There is a visitation here. The glory of the Lord is here. Watch the metals. Ashes go to every metal and stand in front of the metal. I don't want anybody to hit the metal. Every metal. Cover it. Cover it with your feet like this. Like this. Thank you so much. No. Yes, but nobody come to it. Now. Let the creepers get up and walk in the mighty name of Jesus. As we begin this healing service, let the creepers now get up and walk. Let the blind now open their eyes and see. And I command you deaf ears to now hear me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Paralytics, spinal cord injuries, everything. Everybody receive your healing now. And right now I'm lifting up my left prophetic arm towards heaven to help you. Everybody do what you could not do. That is where we should begin from. Try to do what you could not do before. 
Leave alone. Leave her alone. Leave her. Oh, somebody come her. Yes. Do what you could not do. Do what you could not do, somebody. <laughs> let her go. Let her go. Don't touch her. Do what if she's walking, let her walk. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Everybody do what you could not do. Look at this in our eyes. The miracles have arrived. The miracles of Jesus. Just keep walking. Keep walking, my daughter. Keep walking. Walk, baby. Walking better. Look at that now. Better, better, better. Better, better. better, better. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And I want to come, 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 come. This is the Lord I was talking about. This is the Lord I was saying in the conference. This is the Lord I talked about in the conference. Hallelujah. Keep on walking, baby. I may not know what is going on here. We are going to get testimony in a moment. But for now, keep on walking. For now, keep on walking. For now, keep on walking, baby. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Keep walking to me. Just walk with me. Keep on walking. I may not know what is happening, but the Lord knows everything. Keep on walking, baby. Walk with me, baby. Let us walk together. You can turn. We walk together. We want to walk. Come this way. Okay, and then you this way. Let us walk now. Let us wait. Can we wait for another one? Okay, we are walking. <laughs> I may not know. I may not understand. But I want to hear the blind, the deaf that I saw, and the little babies. There's one baby that is totally crippled. The one, one leg, I think it's the left, it looks like the right leg or left leg that gets up and walks and there's a deaf ear that opens a baby, I think light skin like this, I see them there, can, can we walk together, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, I may not understand much, but the Lord understands much, <laughs> hallelujah, you record it. I recorded how she could not walk for many years. This one, even this one came with crutches. She could not walk without the crutch, my Lord. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Oh, look at that. People are being touched all over here. People are being touched. Worship team, lift up your hands and close your eyes. Okay, look at how the Lord is going to touch the worship team. Everybody watch there now. Watch there. Look there. <laughs> there you go. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Keep, look at that. I may not know much. So the, you recorded them. They were not walking for many years. Come, baby. Keep on walking. Let us not stop walking. We may not know much, but Jesus knows much. <laughs> Hallelujah. The healing service has begun in a mighty way here. I'm looking for the deaf, the blind, and everything. Are you? Have you been touched? I may not speak your language, but have you been touched? How are you, my daughter? What's going on? I can't walk properly. But now? No, I've been touched. You have been touched? Yes. And now you can walk? Yeah. <laughs> but that's a big thing. <laughs> come over. I may not understand things. Come, come, come quickly. Come to me. Come, baby. Let's walk. Yes, I'm going to walk with you. And you know, when I walk with you, let me give you a secret here. When I walk with you, you'll be stronger, you'll strengthen your walk. It happens all over the world. Come over. Come, 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 everybody. Come, come. Come, come, walk with me. Walk with me, baby. Come walk with us. Let us walk in this direction. I think there is a situation here. <laughs> there is a big situation here. I may not know what happened, but Jesus knows much, right? <laughs> you saw her? She was not walking. She was, that, that's why I always want the camera to come early and record them. You recorded? She could not walk, my Lord. I recorded her. She was very weak. That's why I always send the cameras early. That Jesus may get maximum glory. Come over. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. The deaf ears, where are you? I want the deaf ears to hear me. 
I have commanded you to hear me deaf ears. If your child is deaf, you can try to play. Oh, yes, get up. Oh, that really shows he was not walking. That's powerful. Get up, my daughter. Let us go now, slowly. Come, come, let us go now. That really, that is the proof that you are not walking. Are you coming to me, the two of you? Come, let's walk. Hallelujah! Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. The deaf ear. What has happened there? What has happened there? Oh, the blind eye has opened. <laughs> these are the eyes I will see. I will see these eyes. I saw these eyes. You can. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You can see me or not? We must see them. Pastor Abudura. Then what has happened? Please give me. I want to jump up. See, she was just seeing here, but but now she can see. You mean you could not see what? Uh, she could not see well, but now she can see. But now she can see far. But that you know. Let let me tell you one thing. Today I was trying to prepare to come to this meeting. And then the Lord slayed me and I slept. We have helped people there, yes. I know people being delivered over here. And then and then the Lord brought your eyes to me in the dream. You know, he slayed me at about 10 o'clock. This is tremendous. This is a very big thing. Can you come? Can you follow me? If you can see me. If you can see me. It is so powerful when the Lord heals a, a, a senior person. It's so big. <laughs> It's so mighty. <laughs> Can you turn with me and walk with me now? Now walk with me, beloved. I know my daughter you're being delivered. Let's go. Let's go. It's all over here. Your walk is going to be stronger. At one point, I'll tell you to even do this. Let's just come with me. The, what has happened here? There's the years have opened here. There's the years have opened, my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. I tell you, the journey has begun. Maybe you're watching from home. You can also receive your healing. It doesn't matter whether you're in another city in this country, or you're watching via the web, or you're in Kenya, or you're in Mexico, or you're in South Korea. It really does not matter. Borion, Bushan, Dejan, all those cities. Huh? It does not really matter where you are. The healing anointing, the long outstretched arm of the Lord can touch you in your living room whether you're in the US or Canada or in South Africa please take this moment and receive your healing take advantage of this visitation this is big I like that can you can we try step by step oh, oh this is the leg I kept I announced in the conference that that leg was heartbreaking you're grabbing each other and hugging each other are we together <laughs> Can, can somebody translate? Can somebody translate? One ear can hear nicely now. <laughs> Jesus is Lord here. I have just begun, says the Lord. The healing service has just begun. Just begun. We've not even reached one quarter. That just begun. Come, come, follow me now. Follow me now. Come with me. Africa, can somebody tell her? Come with me here. Come, come. Yes, yes. Come with me now. Come with me. I want the seats for the VIPs here. So I can reach other people yet. I want those white seats to be brought here. So I can reach other people. Yeah, these are now the most important people in this meeting. Yeah, please do. Please get to the carpet and arrange these things. Put them close to each other. We have so many people. We're going to be healed here. Come, 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 come and sit down. Believe our Lord. Let her come. Come, come, go. No, okay, hi guys. Thank you very much. You touch the glory of the Lord, right? <laughs> Can you come and sit here? Look at that now. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. You will now stabilize. It does look at that. Look at that. Can you rise up? I want to know what was the issue here. Can you rise up? Now you will not fall. Come over here and sit here. Don't bring many seats. Put all the the second line is out. Take away the second line. So you cover the first line. My daughter, you, you, you have been able to walk today. You tell me. No, you are going to tell me first. Can you give me a moment? Okay. 
you say it, it happened to you right there? Yes, it happened from there. From, from what? From my seat when I was sitting. Where I was sitting. Uh, how did it happen? I, I, I can't find balance when I walk. Uh, yes. For how many years? Uh, for a year now. For a year now? Yeah. Uh, and then today what happened there? I could walk on my own. Uh, uh, on you? On my own without leaning on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> sit down here, sit down right away. Okay, now I want to reach many more people because we've just begun the healing service. I want to reach many more people. Thank you so much, the team that are serving here. Thank you. I know I'm under another instruction from above. Yes, yeah, so now, uh, the deaf, the blind, the mute, and everybody else, remember you're going to receive your healing now. This is the hour. The legs that cannot walk, the Lord must touch legs today. Hallelujah. Because others are already getting up and walking. And then the, the, the deaf, I think I don't know if it's, 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 oh, it's, it's the deaf ear. Uh, so, but there is the death. There, there's a baby. There, there are things that are supposed to be happening here, right? In the name of Jesus, all people should receive their healing here. Remember, you have sharp metals there. Watch them, beloved people. Just when the Lord touches you, don't touch a metal. So now, listen to me, beloved people. We have just begun the healing service, and I want whatever the condition. Maybe your baby is deaf. And just listen. The Bible says, whatever he tells you to do, just do it. So, I may tell you to just do this behind the baby. Then you'll be shocked. Or you may be shocked. The baby now is beginning to close the ears. too sensitive. So, these things are going to happen here. Yes. The, the blind eyes also. You know, if the baby is blind or somebody, you try to give something. They, they will then surprise you that they will touch you. Please just work the metals, eh? If the, if the eyes are blind and you give something, they will take. So I'm going to say the prayer here as we go on with the healing service. This is a beautiful day. It has begun with such tremendous authority, you know. And the Lord is going to do bigger things here you can imagine. It's just begun, right? So now, it doesn't matter the condition. If it's a tumor, I'll, at one point I'll ask you to touch it and feel it. I always want you to touch. That's why we send the camera early and I come later. Because we want to record the initial condition. If it's a tumor, sometimes I'll ask you to touch it. And once you feel it, then I'll say the prayer. And then after that, I'll ask you to look for it. You see that? In the name of Jesus. Because Jesus has come to love the church. He has sent me here to love the church. Now I'm addressing you people all the <laughs> You see, you also want to hear, right? I want to talk to the people here also, right? Thank you so much. Thank you indeed. So, this is the best time in the history of the church. The Lord is visiting us. So now, can I begin with those, the deaf? Are there deaf people here? visit you my son he's going to visit you my son there's nothing difficult for him he's going to visit you my son and this is the hour so the death can I begin with the death as I've said are there deaf people or no more any deaf person in the congregation Makwengo you have a microphone with you right and if not, Anjoro has a microphone, you share. Are they deaf or mute or blind? I'm going to come to the blind also. Makwengo, talk to me. Just uh, 
testing whether he is a deaf. What is she saying? Is it, do you need a translator from another country from, uh, to help you? The baby cannot hear and cannot see. Okay, so this baby is deaf? Yes. Okay, that's good. Let the baby stand there. And another deaf? The microphone belongs to the Please, this baby is both blind and deaf. And this baby is both blind and deaf. He never sat down. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. I'm going to pray now here. The deaf are here. Who here? Yeah, there are too many here. We are not be at the end. Yeah, so that I can deal with the hand of these people. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor Toki. So now listen to me. This is so wonderful moment. I'm going to begin with the deaf. I'll go to the blind, the creepers. The mute. Can you give me the strings? Thank you. It's all right. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Thank you. Mighty Father, Father, I ask you to help them in the mighty name of Jesus. In this place, my Lord, there are deaf and blind people. The deaf that cannot hear your word, they cannot even hear the announcement of the coming of the Messiah. Father, I ask you now to pop open the deaf ears in this place, no matter where they are, those that have come, those who have not come, no matter their severity, total death. Lord, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus that you now pop open deaf ears and make them sensitive in this place. That these people may hear the gospel and the announcement of the coming of the King of Glory, the Messiah. I have commanded your deaf ears to open in the mighty name of Jesus, so it be amen. So now, try to do this to someone who's deaf. Don't, don't slap, don't do anything, just slowly from a distance. I know we, we do better. From far away. Always far away, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Blind. Yeah, 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 totally blind, yes. Hey. Yes, totally blind. I saw you with the mama there. Hey. Yes, that's a very interesting story developing there, right? Hey. Oh, Anjoro, can you help there? Bring. Can, can you bring him forward? Bring him forward. Bring him also forward. Can, can you come, come to me? Because I know you are deaf, right? Deaf, daughter. There are many deaf. Maybe you are dumb also, right? Okay, now focus on me now. Enjoy, stand from very far. Somebody tell him. Okay, come, come here. Help me, help me, baby. Help me. 
be calm, be calm. Okay. Who is the father? Come, come, run to me because we have many people come to me. Bring, bring him, bring him. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm your friend. <laughs> thank you. So tell me, what is the problem here? Microphone here. Microphone. Does he what? Speak. Uh, he can hear, but he cannot speak. Oh, you can hear. Yeah, probably. But he cannot speak. Okay, thank you very much. So you can hear. How do go? Okay, yes, that's very good. Hear, and he cannot speak. Can you? What's the name? The Nalaori. Paulus. 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 Okay, Paulus. Can you focus on me like this? Me. Paulus. Talabuta. Talabuta. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. So now look at this. Yeah, that's all right. The tongue, the tongue, yes. Open your mouth. Akama. Akama. Akama, Akama, you know me. Aha. Okay. Okay. Listen, focus on me. Focus on me. Like that, eh? Oh. Somebody don't laugh. Thank you. Say, ba, ba. Ba, ba. Doti, ba, ba. Ba, ba. Ba, ba. Very mighty. Come, come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me now. Say again, focus on ba 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 ba. Yes, yes, yes. That's very good. No, no I, I want to continue with you here. I'm, I'm also coming to every child here. I want to continue my precious son, Paulus. Again, let's repeat ba ba, and then I'll go to other words. Ba 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 ba. That, that's all right. That's very good now. That's very <laughs> he himself is very excited. <laughs> okay, I see people in wheelchairs here. The Lord is coming to visit you people. The visitation of the Lord is right here. Can you focus on me, Paulus? Baba. What? Baba. That's excellent. That's very powerful. <laughs> and he's pleased. He's very happy, really. Now, listen to this now. Can we? Uh, okay, I'm going to another word. I want to go. Now, Paulus, 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 Paulus. 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 Ma. Ma. No, ma. 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 Yeah. I think you have to pass them through now. They call him speech therapy now. But first of all, I need to talk to this boy. Can you bring him here? <laughs> I think this is a developing story, right? Very powerful, right? Live on camera, live on global camera like this. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to another word. Another word. I want to come to another word. Yeah. Listen, focus on me. Focus, no, focus on me. Say, yay, yay. No, yay. Yeah, no, uh -huh. focus, focus on me, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yes, 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 Paulus, be with me. Yes, yes, yes. Paulo, yes. 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 Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh -uh, don't say Baba. Yes. 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 Paulo. Yes. Okay. Yes, so. Yes, so. Mama is here. Your mom is here. Don't worry. Yes, so. Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, teach him how to speak words and help him, my father, to pronounce Jesus. Help him, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, help him again. Help him, my father. Help him again. Focus on me. And then speak. <clears throat> Say anything. Anything. Baba, what? Everybody here. Hallelujah. Can you give me the strings, please? Don't fall around. Yes. Yes. So. Hallelujah. Just the strings, please. The strings I asked you for, please. I'm going to bring somebody else to do this for me. Don't play this song. Baba. Baba. Mama. Baba. Mama. 
Yahweh. Yes. 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 People, how do you say in your language? God. Kalunga. 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 Okay. Now, do like this to the death, everybody. Don't, 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 be, don't do any other ministration here. You are not ministering here. You are going to mess up for the Lord. Stay out on this side, please. Don't do any other ministration here at all. The servant of the Lord is standing here. Can you stand this side that I pointed? This way. You don't minister anything here. If you want to do your service, you do. You organize yours, right? The Lord wants to help these people. Yes. Okay, wherever you are now, if there is a deaf person, try. That's the easiest way to do. If they can respond, you let me know. You know your condition. Yes. If there's a deaf person, you do that. They respond to you. Report to me. I may not know you, but the Lord knows you so well. Right? Hallelujah. Yes. And then the blind. I need to come to the blind also. Is there, if there are deaf people, normally when you do at the back of the turn like this, or if all of a sudden you realize they're covering their ears, something has happened. Yes. So please. Make sure that if you see that, you report to me. Because for me, I'm on this other side, right? Can somebody translate in the language? I think we may need translation if I understand right. Tell them if they have a deaf person. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. If you have a deaf person, if you do slightly without their notice, without their notice, without them knowing, you just, you, just little at the back. And, and they turn. Uh, uh, okay. And they respond to sound. Some ushers will help you. If they respond to sound, you come to me. You tell me something has happened. Because it's a beautiful moment right now. The glory of the Lord is here to help you. Hallelujah. Yes, so again you had me beloved. If you have a deaf person, Gengu nombolo, we are nombolo. and you did that and they turned. The best is to do it against their notice. When they are not aware. If they turn or respond to sound, please shout to me, let us celebrate with you here. That's why I'm here, says the Lord. Right? I'm going to pray for the blind to cause everybody. The healing service has just begun. Ten people carry, please don't do that, Zachary. Yes, no, don't do that. Don't do that. That microphone is not yours. Give it to me. Thank you. So, so I hope this man will put it in, put it in. And then I'm going to pray here now in the name of Jesus. I'm going to worship one song before the Lord and pray. There's a metal for some of you that are there. There are metals on the on the side. Make sure you're not hurt. I'm going to worship here and then I'll pray. I'll pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Jesus is Lord. Anybody tried with a deaf ear? We are still on the deaf. You are going to speak in the name of Jesus. What has happened? Can somebody translate for me? Take the microphone. There. Thank you. You are going to speak in the name of Jesus. You are going to speak in the name of Jesus. You are going to say words. Words of God. <laughs> you will worship the Lord. She was deaf, now she can hear my Lord. Are you telling me that this year has opened? Yes, my Lord. But can you, that's a big thing then. That's very big. Can you just talk to her, please? Can you, let us clap to the Lord. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Don't worry, I'm coming. So, so what happened to her? What is she saying? She came deaf, but now she can hear. She came deaf. Yes, she could. Who brought this person? Who knows this person? But now, I am not aware. She could talk about it. She did not take her. Look at her. Who brought this deaf uh, beloved? Oh, thank you, my daughter. Thank you. You know her. Tondoka, here, 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 here. Are you telling me you know her? Are you, are you telling yes, me? Yes, my lord, I know her. And oh, you are, you are speaking English, right? She could not understand. You can speak English. You are struggling. So she will translate in her language. Are you telling me you know her? Who is she? Who is she? She's my neighbor. Yes. What, 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 are you the one who brought her here? Oh, uh, uh, and, and the global camera is there, so we really needed to face the other side. Can we face this side? Come face me. So you, you are telling me you the microphone is here with you. So you are telling me that you you know her. Oh, is she? Yes, I know. What, what is her name? name? Mary Dia. Lydia. Lydia. <laughs> Mary Dia. Lydia. Mary Dia. I think some people know her, right? Okay, it looks like people know her. Calm down, that, 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 that's very powerful. <laughs> you know Mary Dia. Mary Dia. That's very powerful. <laughs> okay, then, that is very good then. We, let us do this in front of the global camera. Thank you so much. Then that, that, that's very powerful. Okay, you are going to give me a chance or not? Don't wrestle her down. <laughs> the Lord is my sorry, my son. Come, 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 come here, come here. You are always here. <laughs> you know your father sometimes is, is under another instruction, right? Okay, now. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so people know her. <laughs> No, let us begin with the death, right? Because we need to come to all people here in the name of the Lord. So, now, now, can you give me a moment? I'm going to come to you. I really understand. But this is powerful. It is true. This is very powerful what the Lord is doing here. Yes. It's very mighty. Yes. Yes, my daughter. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you. So, can you give me one second now? Can you come, Mary dear, here? Mary Yes, thank you. And then, you, you, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jerry, you have said? Mary dear, focus on me. So, can I ask you, how deaf was she? Wakalang o de o dita ko shifu depen. Iya o duko nande nandi lo. Ah, eh, na kunongo ne na bokoti. Deaf to the point that if you want her to hear anything, you have to shout into her ear. Ah, okay. Partial deaf. Okay, okay. So, you, you, that's okay. And you move away farthest. Thank you, Archbishop. Thank you. Just be there. So uh, then, just focus on me now. Focus on me. Talago, yeah. Eh, na kunya kashone. Okay. You, you. How the kalapo? The kalapo me ridi. I just want to know that your deaf ears have opened. Ndalago dagenga makuti apa turoka. I want you to listen. I want you to listen and tell me what you hear. I want you to listen and tell me what you hear. When you hear, you tell me. When you hear, can you detect or not? I'm not going to detect. I'm not going to detect. I'm not going to detect. Can you jump? I'm going to detect. 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 Are you going to share with us what you guys are saying? 
she she <laughs> she, she wants to tell what she already told that uh, I used not to hear. I'm now asking her. What can you can, hear now? Can you what can you hear now now? She would the paper she pops. Okay, John Jero. She's saying I can hear you speak, but she can also. Uh, uh, uh. I can hear a person clapping hands. Okay. But I want, I want to know how far. Normally, I want to know how far. Yeah. Normally, I start clapping from very far there. I want to also know how far, right? Yes, do the fine tuning, right? Can you go very far? Okay. Very, very far. No, 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 don't, don't, don't talk to about what we are doing. <laughs> okay, there. A, a clap, a hand clap. Okay. Uh, no, and then I'm going to come to you. I hear a person clapping. Okay, right then I'm going to come to you to ask you how many times. Okay. Thank you. Okay, listen again. Listen very carefully. No, 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 please, please, don't worry, don't worry. We, we, I need her to come. Huh? I heard it two times. Oh, this person was deaf, right? Oh, that's good. This person was deaf. Can you repeat on it? Three times. Oh, yeah, three. No, but, but the fact that she can hear three and say two is what proves to me that she was deaf. Yes. yes, I know she is. She cannot lie. But I just wanted to verify this before the camera. You see that? So, go a little further. And clap. No, 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 no. One. He clapped once. Oh, she heard. Eh? Okay, then he, then he has to go farthest. <laughs> before, the, before the global camera. Hallelujah. No, we have just begun the healing service. We've, 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 we've just begun. We've just begun. Hallelujah. Okay, we've just begun the healing service. Can you go a little further? Don't knock someone behind you. That's enough now. Huh? He clapped twice. Okay, now the ears have opened. Thank you. That's very yes. good. That's very good. I may not have known you, but Jesus knows you. Yes. So can you sit there? Can you sit there? Let us clap to the Lord, everybody. Give me the strings, my son. Over here. That's good. That's a good thing. The Lord is harvesting them one by one. One by one. Hallelujah. So now, they, there are no tumors in this place, are there? Is there any tumor you can touch and feel? Step by step, we're going to the blind, we're going to the cripples, and everyone else. And then at one point, who raised your hand? The doctor said, uh, my Elma, on the uh, uterus on the back side. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when they check on the sauna, they say it's uh, They found it in August last year and this year, this month. Okay. Or last month. And so they're talking about operating. Uh, what do they say they want to do? They say I'm going to be a special gynecologist. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go here that it deserves. Thank you so much, yes. That is going to be very important here. And then when it dissolves, you go back to your doctor. So you have two records, one person, right? Thank you so much. So now, we let us begin this healing service. What has happened here? So? What happened? You, 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 okay, this is just something. What has happened? The growth that uh, is just growing. It's growing now. Mm. It was growing. Open it. Oh, Papa, I'm Okay, this finger here that grows something. 
something grow here or was growing we have many people of this language helping us here can we get the peep translators with microphones to help us with them oh, yeah, please someone who can speak the language please if you don't mind many people can hear please no, don't worry don't worry we look among the ashes among the ashes yes whoever can talk can help and then she'll come what were you saying where were you who am i talking to thank you are you a reverend right you are a reverend yes yes so what are you saying about this finger there is a growth here and now the finger cannot move it cannot do this okay can i pray here in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus yeah, please get translate every word whatever he says you translate word to word word to word yes can i then pray in the mighty name of jesus thank you very much then just stand here thank you the lord will restore your testimony also you're saying tumors right if you have a tumor a cyst in the breast or wherever please touch it and if you can feel it let me know you can touch a tumor a tumor in the eye okay just stand here and then a tumor or oh, in the back okay it may not be seen right okay any tumor okay those are tumors line up here then okay in the mighty name of jesus because normally sometimes we we when they can touch a big tumor thank you just help them there thank you thank you please so everybody is coming now okay all these are tumors okay <laughs> we bless the lord that he loves the church right all is going to be well right because when i was asking tumors i thought you were not there okay you know where your tumor is you know where live right there right there right there right there right there okay. thank you very much right there. thank you just cover one thank you thank you thank you now thank you thank you thank you thank you so all these are tumors for example if i ask step by step mine is a growth of piles yes did i see you south africa or not you are the one that looked at there not you no it's south africa right okay it's a it's, it's a growth you said okay where is it from palsy okay thank you so much as a great there right you can feel it right oh she did not come Yes. And for you? It is as a growth in the leg. Oh, there are lumps in your breast. Huh? Okay, thank you so much. The big ones, how what size? Um, lemon, small, what what size? Medium, you said. Me, me, you can feel them. Eh? Yeah. To, now, if you touch, you can feel them. Because I'm going to pray here, and then I ask you. I want you to feel them, and then when I pray, I will ask you to search for them. That's what I'm trying to do. You can feel them, right? You do? So can you give the microphone to me, yes. please? One. Thank you. Can feel one, eh? Yes. Normal there how many? There are two. There are two. On both sides. Both sides. Yes. So you're feeling one this way? This side. And then this yeah. way? On the right. Here yeah, I can't feel anything. Yeah, you can't feel anything. Yes. Normal, do you feel it? Yes. Okay, do, so, so that's all right. So you're telling me that this one is not this there. This one I cannot feel, but on the right side. On but the... you have been feeling it. Yes, both. So this one is not there as we speak. This one I can't feel it now. Okay, that's good. So we are going to pray. Just mention in the womb. Thank you so much. In the breast. In the breast. How big is it? 
small, but you can feel it. Can you tighten now? Okay, let me pray and then you look for your tumors because of time. Those with tumors, can you lift? Make sure you're in the front row. Make sure you're not behind, please, beloved, precious. This is the moment for the church now. Give everybody a chance, please, if you don't mind. Okay, now, those with tumors, take your hand and touch the tumor. To make sure you can feel the tumor. Touch it the way you normally have touched it, you know. And lift up your hands then. That's alright, now lift up your hands. And close your eyes. Mighty Father. Father, today I command tumors to dissolve over these people. That all the cysts, the tumors, the, the lamps, the swellings, the lamps, and the growths, including the cancerous tumors, to dissolve from their bodies now, even the fibroids, may dissolve in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you tumors with my sharp prophetic tongue. That you may disappear from these people's bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is finished. So now, no, now, 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 look for the tumor, please. If it is still there, we are going to pray. But if you don't find it, you, are, you alone now come to me. Let's me repeat it. Now, the tumor you touched before you prayed. Try to touch it. If you don't find it, then you come forward. Now. If you find it, it's okay, we are going to pray. We are the healing service. Jesus is Lord. Yes, so and is still and from. So please search, and if you find disappeared, you can. You that is powerful. Step forward. <laughs> Hallelujah. Search for your tumor. If you find it, it's alright. If you don't find it, only you can now come forward. Oh, You don't find now. <laughs> That's very powerful. <laughs> Thank you. The Lord bless you. The rest, don't worry. Don't worry, we are still in the presence of the Lord. Look at that. Okay, it's very powerful. Only if you cannot find. If, if, it, is, if it is still there, okay, that's very powerful. If it is still there, it's alright, we are still in the middle of the healing service. And I'm going to come to your babies. I'm going to come to the children, the cripples are still here. The Lord is going to visit here, beloved people. I see others are still having crutches here. Look at that now. Ah, so the second tumor has disappeared. The second one. Hallelujah. The second lump has disappeared. Yes, it disappeared. From here now here. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is it. Step by step, right? Yes. Step by step. Step by step. In front of the camera there, that the other people in their homes may also receive their healing. Look at that. Also breast lump. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. The Lord is mighty. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And He's very mighty. What is that now? I think let me just walk near you people from this end to there and then you look for your tumors. Okay, there now. Search for your tumors. Ah, Nana, look at that hand. Do like this. Do like this. Do like this. Do like this, I see. Look at that. Ah, 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 Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> do like that again. Do like this. Do like this. Look at that. <laughs> wow. She could not fold that finger. She's a reverend. She's a reverend. <laughs> and I told her, the Lord has to restore your message. He has to restore your testimony as you preach. She could not fold it. <laughs> you know I record it there. It is very powerful. It is very powerful here. <laughs> that is a preacher. <laughs> she stands in the house of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, the Napu Pashintanya, Gabriel Luca, Gonna go with over Mosito. I am very happy. I am very happy to join in Tavelo. Now I continue to have a good one. I did not have a in Jesus. No, but the finger could not fold. <laughs> the finger could not fold. <laughs> And she was saying it is paralyzed. She was saying the, the finger. Look at that now. Look at that now. <laughs> no, the healing service has just begun. <laughs> Listen, look at that. Everything is good. I need to walk near you like this up to there and you look for the tumor. I want the glory of the Lord to touch you. Okay, there you go now. I want to walk. I want, I want to walk near you. Nobody follow. I want to walk near you. And when I reach near you, the glory of the Lord will touch you. And then as you look for the tumor, you find that it's dissolved like that red one there. <laughs> the finger was paralyzed and stuck. A shriveled finger. And now released in the amazing way. But I'm walking here in the name of the Lord. Okay. Thank you. Everybody look for your tumors now. All across here. All across here. Everybody look for your tumor now. I've, I've passed you. Yours is what? It's unreachable. Oh, it's unreachable. <laughs> but you know how you feel, my daughter. If you are the one who know, did, did, did you normally feel it in the same time or not? You feel? You felt it? When you do what? When I do like that. Okay, then that's what we want to do to find out if that pain is still there. Because God can help us to know what has happened, right? And remember, I always send you back to the doctor. Yes. Yes, here I'm very strict, you know? Yes, I send you back there and the doctor gives you another imaging. If Jesus has not healed you, we just come back and pray. You understand? If he has healed you, we celebrate and we ask the doctor whether he knows Jesus. Because now he will not see the tumor. <laughs> Amen. So let me pass you again. So can you then look for your tumor, my daughter? Can you do exactly the way you do it? Read more severely with, so that you feel much pain. What did the doctor say? Tumors on my lungs. Tumors in your lungs? Yes. And what, so, so what was the difficulty? With breathing or what? What was? Breathing or when I'm moving, I feel pain on here in my ribs. Okay, but I need to do a little more exercises here. Can you come? I need to do it more severely with okay. you here. Do jump up. Do something that will cause pain, you know? So that you can... Feel much pain where you used to feel pain. The things you cannot do before. And then we see if the lungs are paining. Run, run. So, so you breathe heavily. You breathe heavily with here if the lungs are still paining. That is light. Do heavy exercise, please. I, I, I'm leaving you there as I'm coming back. So, and don't stop. Don't stop. So Jesus loves you all. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus of Nazareth loves you. Tell me, my daughter, what's going on? I blood pressure and my breast are paining. Okay, thank you so much, my daughter. They're paining now? Now it's, very, it's just a little pain. 
Okay, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the pain. And I also cancel anything, be it cancer or tumor, it is cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very powerful. So now, do you feel tired now? Can you breathe deep in and out? Because too much of the lungs when you breathe, probably you feel pain. My daughter there is very powerful. <laughs> The paralyzed finger has been released. Eh? Yes, but I need the creepers are here. So I'm men of God. I'm I'm breathing properly, I'm moving properly, I'm not breathing hard, hard. It seems like my Lord has dissolved those tumors, right? And that is a very powerful thing. They think because tumors in the lungs is not a joke. Yes, so that is very powerful. I bless you so much, my daughter, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. So, so, what can you do? What could you do? Uh, my pain was the, my problem was the growth of piles. Yes, what can you, well, you okay? That's okay. But what can you do in that condition? Uh, I, I can't reach them, so I have to go out and. Uh, I'm saying what? The, you have to what? I have to go and check if they're still there. Okay, thank you so much. Can I pray for you? But what have you been feeling? Is what I want to know. Yeah, like when I go to the toilet, then I feel a lot of pain. Okay, but when you're just here, you don't feel. Uh, at the moment, I'm, I was. I'm saying normally. What do you feel? when you're not in the restroom or you, what do you feel like? Right? Normally I don't feel them normally. Okay, thank you. So can I pray for you and then you go check? You remember if you find them, be truthful to me. Tell me you have found them. So that I can pray for you, right? Yes, because I want the Lord to get rid of them. Okay? Okay, thank you. Let me pray for you. Everybody else, I'm praying the blind, the deaf, it doesn't matter now. Found, where is the deaf... Uh, Baby. That, that is supposed to hear here today. That is supposed to hear. And there is a baby that was also blind around here. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you to help your daughter here. And you have. And Father, remember all the people here, whatever the condition, diabetes, hypertension, cancers in the blood, leukemia, the blind, my Lord. The creepers of the wheelchairs are here. Can I touch their feet? and strengthen their feet the way you have strengthened these other feet that you have healed here Lord help them help the young man lying down there stretch him my father visit your people Jehovah build the testimony in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus everybody now receive you are healing in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm now lifting up my left prophetic arm again for the second time. Now everybody try to do what you could not do again. Try to do what you could not do everywhere. Out there. Everybody try to do what you will not do. Everybody try to do what you could not do, beloved. Wherever you are, 
which I know I'm a baby. Even the tumor is trying to search you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This baby is still blind. Everybody, wherever you are, if he has touched you, let me know. Is this spinal cord injury or what? What is that? Someone stabbed you. Don't worry, the Lord is going to touch you. That mother, we don't give them chairs there, don't worry. I will have to walk with each one of them and know what the Lord has done in their lives. Why has my daughter crossed over? What has happened? Okay, tell me. Anybody the Lord has touched? Then come to me. Come to me then. What was the condition, my daughter? on my back for, for more than 17 years. For more than 17 years? Yes, then when that pain started, then I moved like a snake, I don't know. Then you moved like a snake? Yes. Yeah, then, then you moved like a snake, yes. Yes, yes I moved like a snake. Then everybody knows at home that I'm having that pain on my back. So, what happened? At the age of 18, now I'm 35. At the age of 18, you began to have that pain. Mm. Today I'm 35. Yes, so thank you. But now <laughs> the Lord has touched me. How did you know that the Lord has touched you, my daughter? That's powerful. I kneel down, then I move like a snake, but there's no pain. Yes. For 17 years, you said. Yes, but but you can, you can, can you can take you down your feet if you can? And see if you can look for the pain. And then, did you find it? This. <laughs> There's no more pain. I what were the doctor saying? I went for screening by the doctor. The, by the doctor. You went? Anything. You went where? I went for the for, for sonar, but but they see nothing. They said I have wind on my on, on my on my what? Okay, the Lord has touched you, right? Just stand there then. We bless the, the, the Lord for you. Just stand there, my daughter. To talk to me. Okay, come to me. Come quickly because we, are, we, we have not much time. To get, what has happened to you? I used to have the neck pain and I was diagnosed by the doctor that the two bones of my neck at the back of at the back of my neck were close to one another. And that's why when I'm bending my neck then it gives me a pain on my left on your left leg. Yes. What type of pain? It's 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 just an unusual pain whenever I bend. Whenever you bend. Yes. On the left leg. Yes. Exactly where on the leg, the foot or okay, or the whole leg. Yeah, but now I don't feel any pain. Okay, now can you try to bend? Can you try to bend so we can see if there's no pain? The way you did bend your neck, you said more more violently, please. More violently. More violently. So we can search for the pain. But this is a very big one. What what the, the discs were very close, right? Yeah, the two discs were close to one another. For how long? Um let's see, maybe for a year. People help me and talk to these people. Yes. Uh -huh. For a year. For a year now. Thank you, my daughter. The Lord knows you, He knows what was done. Can you move there? I'm going to take testimony eventually. What has happened to you? I was having a growth in my middle finger here. It was a little bit bigger, but it's becoming smaller now. This middle finger, yeah, yeah. this point, this this exact point yeah. is whitish, yeah. and it's still hard. Oh yes, hardish. You say it's a growth. There's a growth. Huh? Yeah. You talk to me. Uh -huh. You're saying, and now it it was becoming <laughs> disappearing. That's <laughs> yes, more. Come and help me. Okay, okay, Stuart. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then over there, you can, my daughter, you can. Just talk to me. I was having two tumors in my right breast. Two tumors. What size? Lemon or smaller? Cyst? Smaller. Mm -hmm. 
they now have disappeared. They, they disappeared here. So you are telling me they disappeared here. Where were you sitting? Can Where were you sitting today over there? Yes. When did you know they disappeared? Did you catch and feel them? Yes. Just give me a second. Come. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Actually, that tumor is disappearing right now, right? Oh, yes. Now I understand the shock that hit you, right? Oh, this tumor is disappearing, eh? Okay, it's not even hard anymore, right? No. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Somebody clapped to the Lord. This is very powerful, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Th- thank you, thank you, my daughter. Still blind, right? Oh, totally white, right? The Lord will be with What did you say? Which demons? <laughs> you touched and felt. Yes, I touched them. Then. Right now they have disappeared. There were two. There were two. Can you search for them now as I stand here? It was even pain, but now I don't feel any pain. That's very powerful, my daughter. For how many years have they been there? For seven months now. Thank you so much, my daughter. Somebody help her. Thank you. And then now, let me pray for everyone else. It's so mighty here. This baby's eyes are going to open, you said. They are going to open, right? Fresh, even deaf, you said. Yes. You can hear. Baby. Blind. And cannot see. Oh, cannot see. Thank you so much. What did the doctor say? The baby is crying. Oh, the mother is not you. Okay, just try to have the baby sit. Are you the mother? Oh, so you have not been here. What, what, you did not come with your baby? Why did you come with your baby? She has the problem for the mind. Of the mind? Of what? Oh, the mother is somewhere there. We are the one. Oh, yes. You are saying you also have a problem of the mind. Just say everything before the Lord. Okay, no, no problem. I hope the mother does not get a shot. The baby doctor says the baby, the thoughts cannot operate properly. The thoughts, the, the mind. The mind. Okay, that is all. It's well in the name of Jesus. It's well in the name of Jesus. Okay. Mental. 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 Yeah, so that you go back to that doctor again, right? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you indeed. Thank you. How wonderful the Lord has done a big thing here today. Thank you. They are still there, right? Thank you so much. Thank you. It's well, the Lord will heal you. Yes, honestly. That's how it happens, right? Once you see them, you just come and say, they're still there. I need the healing of the Lord. So... Can you try and do what you could not do, beloved people? That's the best way to run this service from this point on. Only the Lord knows when He will touch you or your baby. But this could be that moment. Hallelujah. Is this your baby? Or is your baby? I was about to say, wow, you're too young. <laughs> this is your daughter. They are all well. We bless the Lord. Yes. Can you try to do what you could not do, beloved people, even in the VIP tent? 
Try to do what you could not do before. I came here with my son. He is muted. He is here that Thomas is muted. He cannot speak and his brain is not operating well and he is epileptic. We come all along from Chapman. Yes, Dabai. Yes. Thank you so much. It is well, my daughter. Yes, the Lord will remember you. All the way from Germany. Thank you so much. It is well. It is well, my daughter. It is very well. It is well. It is well. It is well. She came all the way from Germany. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can you try to do what you could not do, beloved people? This is a very large number of people healed. Can they sit down? Can some, look at that. You come and walk with me because I think we still need to walk a lot, right? How about if we start to do a little bit like this? Now we are balancing. Yes, we are. Okay, sit down here because I want to bring more people here. You are going to lose your seat. Do you want, did you want to go to refresh? Yeah, just sit down because I'm bringing more seats here now because I want to clear them and then start praying for the other people who are sitting better. Can you have more seats so we can clear these people that have been healed so I can focus on those on the other side? That is powerful. You have to go to the doctor to tell me about the lungs. I want him to give you a second report. One patient, two reports. And if you have HIV AIDS, I'm going to curse the virus here tonight. Yes, in the name of Jesus, okay? Just arrange, could you go take up your seats one by one so that the second row can come, the third row? Just go there, thank you. Go, go. What, just a moment, what was the issue here? Yeah, both me and the child, but the child not yet, I can still feel the, what, I don't know what you call it, that came out of her head. But me, my pains disappeared, I had this constant pain here. Like what was it? What did the doctor say it is? Because sometimes I need to know. The details. I, I never went to the doctor. I don't know why. What pain was it? Bad pain? Like uh, kidney, or I don't know what it was. Okay. okay. So today it is gone. I, I thank God so much for your healing, but the baby will be healed also. Okay. Sit there, my son. Can you people take your seats? Those. What? What? What, what happened to Mama? Mama has something that running up and down her body. The doctor said she had a big sore. Where is the Where is the Mama that was blind? Oh, she's over there. Thank you. The doctor said it was what? A big soul, something inside in the back, something that breathes in and out, running from here until the breath. And, and, and the ear, what? And then it comes through the ear. The ears. That may not be a good thing, my daughter. So it is gone now. Yeah, now she feel she's light. You, you, did you feel it went? It went. Can, can you, beloved, sit? I'm going to ask you questions later. Sit down, please. Take the other row, please. Yeah. That's very powerful. Our God has touched you, right? How many years have you gone through this? But remember for me, every single miracle, whether it's just a small tumor that has dissolved, I can celebrate Jesus forever for it. Even this age, when the Lord touches this age, for that alone I can now serve Jesus forever. The, the, only that one miracle really, but today there are too many miracles here that have happened. So you, you mean for many years you are telling me? For many years, from eight, uh, 2008. From 2008? Yeah, she feel that thing. That running and coming out through the years? Yes. That thing is an evil thing. It has disappeared today, right? Yes. It doesn't sound good. It's a very evil thing that goes like that and come through the ear, right? And come back to the back. <laughs> but it's finished. <laughs> it's really finished. Amen. That thing is finished. It has no power. The blood of Jesus has power. Amen. My daughters at the back, I'm going to come to you, right? I will come to you. Just allow me to reach other people, right? That's why I put you there for a longer time. You've been there much longer. But we are going to come. Each miracle is so big. Your miracles are so big. You could not walk. You are recorded on the camera there. So I'm going to come to you. But allow me to reach other people. So, to talk to me, my daughter. You cannot touch you there. Yeah, I came here. I was I was finding the worms. The worms from here. W worms or worms? Worms. Moving worms? Yeah, like inside and there's Oshikute. Oh, a wound. A wound. A wound. Yeah, from my neck, from three months, I'm not eating. Uh, so there's some of that bread here today. 
bread and coca cola somebody carried any piece of bread G- give me anything to eat here thank you so much i need this thing Th- thank you this this is a it's a nice uh, it's beef right Th- and thank you my daughter thank you so much what's your name <laughs> she said, you said what you just tell me quickly in your house the lord bless you very much yes thank you so much you know for three months you don't eat solids yeah i'm not eating i'm just drinking milk that's all okay now this is a very hard piece of uh, uh, beef beef right and then it's mutton built out built out is what is a it's a dried meat yes dried beef yes yes i want you to eat this this is rough eat it yeah, take yeah. it and eat it now it's very rough and eat it and swallow it and receive those wounds are still there and more biscuits are here for eating as I'm coming back to you when Coca-Cola will be given by Dr. Makwengo is here my son so I can clean myself uh, so thank you so much so this is an awesome moment now we have removed them from the way so I can reach you people here and say is the Lord hallelujah the Lord is visiting here he has begun in a mighty way you see now Archbishop of Nigaban Now you start in such a big way. Oh. How will the second meeting be? <laughs> Mighty. Where are the deaf people that don't hear the gospel? And I'm always very sensitive to them. Embole embole. Talk to me. Akuna shambolo go. You are just waving to me you say Jesus is Lord. I bless you also. Akuna shadi. It's an awesome day here. Every miracle is so important beloved people. But to me there is no small miracle. What do you say? You have come pick your bag, my daughter, pick your bag. She was in the conference the whole day. She was very powerful. The Lord touched her here in a very tremendous way. My daughter here is, is, is a son, is a daughter, right? Yeah, my daughter here. The Lord has to open these eyes. And I have another son down there. I know, I cannot speak, right? So now, are you going to come up to me today? Rise up to me. It's all right. Jesus loves the church. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Even the even the fingers closed. Eh? Oh, these fingers are closed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. She's totally blind. She's totally blind. Jesus is Lord. She's hearing the music, right? This is your daughter? Yes. So just be at peace. The blood of Jesus is still flowing. Yes. I'm asking the Lord to heal her. I know that only the Lord knows when he heals who, but I'm asking him to heal her. You see that? Yes. And this one is well, right? She's fine, this one. Thank you so much. Just be at peace, my daughter. Peace, peace, peace. She's all right. She's not right. Eh? Brains, the brains, she was checked brain scan but they said it's fine. Thank you so much. Jesus will heal. Beloved people. I'm going to pray here again. And then lift up my hand towards the Lord that he may help people here many people. Hallelujah. There is even a blind uh, a blind baby actually right a blind baby somewhere yes we are still in the presence of the lord so that is the blind baby thank you thank you the Lord healed you already. 
for you be healed already. Yes. Yes, for you to stay out of it. What is the problem? Uh, I think my Mary knows me a few years back. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, I have an issue of my husband. He doesn't want me to come to this revival church. It's like a Sunday I attended one. It's almost a week. He's not talking to me. He just looked aside. Him. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. You know, I'm going to instruct him. Yes, I'm going to instruct him. What is, uh, you may want to say his name? Say again. His name. Clements. Clement. I am going to instruct him to love the Lord. Yes. yes. So I have called him with my tongue. Amen. But it is all right. It's all right. He's going to love the Lord more. Amen. Because um, this, he, has a, he has a blood coat. Yes. Okay, then it's well now. Yes. Thank you so much. And, and no, I am taking away his peace today. I have taken away his peace now. I have just taken away his peace, the peace that Clement was enjoying. And now, you brought them earlier today and you took them back. That's all right. Something oozing, that's well. What's the name of the baby? Yes. I rated it five years. This. No, is it still oozing? Was it oozing today when you came? That it has been oozing. Okay, so it is oozing from inside. She's born. Okay, so thank you so much. It is well. Yes, and you're going to take a phone and call her. What's her name? Uh, Clement. 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 Yes. 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 Clement. Thank you so much. You, you heard yesterday. Thank you. Thank you as well. So I am praying now, beloved people, for all. You want to say? So the Lord is going to heal you now, right? He's going to heal you, my daughter. Okay. So. I want to worship for the Lord a bit and then I will pray. Thank you Lord for this. Thank you. you're even eating the biscuits now so what did you feel when you ate the dried meat i feel something on my back come <laughs> tell me first of all about the throat <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> the throat you know we had this problem with the throat many wounds uh, cannot only drinking milk but now the lord touched you in the eyes of everybody here how about the throat have you swallowed everything anything yeah, now it's like I cannot feel things pain in any way. But is it what is your name to begin with? Leticia. Leticia, isn't that a very very big miracle my Lord has done here? Because He touched you in the public here. 
thanks to you, Lord, because I was. <laughs> because of what? I came here, people that was like, look at me, I was just sleeping. I was, I was so. Oh, Lord. Yes. I wanted to help my Lord. She was very weak and the tongue was white, full of white stuff. She could not eat anything. I filmed the tongue. She was totally white. Very, very sick and very weak. She had not eaten for three weeks. Well, and she had not eaten for three weeks. Three months. Three months. She had not eaten. Are, huh? I recorded her. She came. The tongue was totally white. She had not eaten for three months. And she was very, very weak, my Lord. No. This is a big thing going on here, right? That's why we send the camera in front ahead of us. Every time we send the camera here and to try to catch people. I know we can't record all, even tumors, we can't get to them. But to try to record people in their conditions that when my Lord Jesus heals them, the glory may be so big, we may glorify him so big because we compare the clips before the healing when you are not eaten for three months and you began by eating dried meat, I smoked beef, something like that, eh? offered by the daughter angel and then you ate it and chewed it and swallowed after three months of milk. Eh? And you said I was? Uh, there was the doctor has taught me to eat dry meat. <laughs> but that is exactly the diet I put you on. <laughs> the doctor said stop time from eating dried meat. <laughs> this is an awesome story. Can you drink Coca-Cola? Because sometimes they say don't drink what, don't drink this. Coca-Cola or this like. She was what? Stop me to drink Coca-Cola or, or cool drinks. No, Coca-Cola or dried meat. A lot of things were stopping me. <laughs> I love Jesus. I love him very much. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, Kenya did not begin. They, they are watching. Let me talk to them. Kenya did not begin like this. Not at all. I was preaching at the market gates, next to the gate of the meat market, at the entrance to the gate of the fish market, prophesying the first Asian tsunami, November 24th, 2004, until it happened December 26th, that same year, 2004. I was just out there. It did not begin in such a formal way. Massive healing, wonderful chairs, covered well, beautiful situation. It never began like this. So you can imagine for yourself how great this revival is going to be. Hallelujah. I am ready to come. I want to serve this nation. I want to serve this nation. I'm ready to serve this nation. Surely Namibia, I want to come back. Because if it can start this big, this is so big. That means when I come again, it will be even bigger, right? <laughs> and, yet, and yet we are just in the beginning of the healing service I want to serve this nation I want to serve you people The Lord sent me to serve you people You are the most important Yes, yes, yes. You are the most important Thank you. Thank you, I'm coming Thank you, Thank you I'm coming I'll take all so this is what is happening here now. The Lord began by touching the worship team in a very mighty way here. Then he touched people here. And then the people that have never walked, my precious daughters who have not walked before who are here, started walking. They started walking, getting up and walking and walking. And then now they have walked and they can balance, having lost balance. You know, I don't know what the doctors would say about that. But to lose balance is not a small thing, they will tell you. It is not small. It's a big thing in medical circles. So for you to regain balance is also a big thing for us here in Jesus. Eh? It's also not small for us here. We who are in the Lord on this side. It's so powerful to be here. So I want to start praying. Before. Let me finish with this. So you tell me, when you came, people were, you said they were just looking at you and saying, will she die here or what? Yes, oh, because I came with my sister, I was living a little. Is, do you have a sister here? Yeah. And she has not yet run to me here? Sister, you talk at 
Walk, just walk, just walk slowly, don't run. And your sister was telling you what? That people are now watching you. Because, like, I'm the one who telling Buja, I saw one pastor to the TV, but tomorrow I have to call that pastor, that prophet going to heal me in the mighty name of He is a slave of Jesus, though, right? Oh, yes, because I even said, no, wake up, because this day. You, you, you wake up because you told her these days you can't trust time. I cannot trust time, the devil. <laughs> What it means is I cannot trust time because the devil is playing around with time, right? <laughs> Can you come here, my beloved daughters? So, what is going on? You were brought in a very weak stage. Oh, yes. They say only milk, don't try meat. Only milk, only this porridge, like water. Yes, very dilute porridge. Yeah. That's all, all sweets. For three months. For three months. Do you know her? Yes, I know her. What's her name? Leticia. Leticia who? Shinaini. Shinaini. And what's your name, my daughter? Aurora. Aurora. So, what was her condition? No, she was very weak when she came and she didn't eat anything. She did not eat anything. Just a moment. Moment, moment, moment. Moment, moment. Thank you. Thank you. So, so she, she, she didn't eat for how long? Three months. That is a big thing. Don't come to me. That, that's a big one. Come, both of you. Because now I cannot take it anymore. I have to talk to this camera here. Because there are many people in their homes who have not eaten for many months. And yet the Lord is bringing revival to the church at this hour. I want them also to get up and have a meal. Uh, in Kenya, a woman came to me. She's a nurse. She's called, she's now a pastor. She's called Pastor Wambogo. She had been injecting everywhere because of diabetes until now she was injecting the stomach. And you can imagine as a nurse. So it was such a situation. She has to work night shift and all this oncology ward. And then finally one day she said enough is enough. She came with the strangers and everything. She said, please, I am coming. But when she came, I did not speak about the disease. I think for two hours, just chatting with her, laughing about how the revival is big. And she wondered, how will I get healed like this? And then at the end, I said, it is well, my daughter. And that very day, she began to eat biscuits and Coca-Cola in the woods. She, she's retired now, but then, and the doctors were like, I tried to commit suicide. What has happened to you today? So no, the man of God says, it is well. So I have said, it is well here. And to many families that were like you, three months thin like that, have not eaten, the doctor said, don't try meat. If you try, you are gone, right? So now they can also rise up because the blood of Jesus is flowing. You may be watching the healing service here and having a condition in your home, a child or your husband or you, sister. Tumor or the doctors have said things. Remember that the Lord knows your condition. He can heal you. The long outstretched arm of the Lord can reach you in the mighty name of Jesus. And here we are celebrating already the mighty healings of my daughters there that could not walk. Just got up and walked. That is a tremendous moment. Ears opened there and so forth. Could not walk. The leg I was seeing and I'm announcing in the conference appeared. Tremendous situation. So, even you, the Lord, is currently speaking your story in your homes. My Lord, talk to me. This is very big, my Lord. Talk to me. Where are you? I'm here, my Lord. Yes. This baby yeah. has never walked since birth. Since birth. Yeah. <laughs> this baby, a crippled baby has stood up. The baby I was looking for. And the baby was paralyzed. Yes. This hand is still twisted. Yeah. And the Lord has corrected this leg. <laughs> can you bring the camera? There is a way you can bring the camera. Thank you. Look at this now. The miracles have just broken out now. A crippled baby has just stood up for the first time since birth. Jesus is Lord. He is my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, my friend, and my Master. <laughs> this baby has stood up. This is a developing story, beloved people. You recorded that baby? That, that baby was totally paralyzed by Lord. I recorded the baby when the baby came. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at this. Since birth. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. 
now and is becoming better and better and better and better and better. I don't want to go back to Kenya. I, if you can give me a place to stay, yes. I can go and apply to extend my visa. Hallelujah. How many days did they give? Five days. Up to 25th. I want to stay here. I don't want to leave. I told you. I told you. I told you. Hi, hi, hi. Ha, ha, ha. Michael, you recorded. This baby was paralyzed, has never walked before. I recorded the baby. Was carried, could not walk. Jesus. That's one I want to bring me. I'm waiting for the church to be constructed. That's why I waited. This is so big. It is so mighty, Botswana. It is so great. It is so awesome. It's incredible. That's all right. Don't move them away. I shall leave them alone. Leave them. No, leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Don't worry. Leave them. Oh, that baby needs the glasses. Somebody make sure you record this on your cell phone. Everybody make sure you record this on your phone. This is a mic. Look at the joy on his face. Why, 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 why? Look at this wealth. 
This is our purchase for the world.
Botswana. This is the senior most leadership in Botswana. The church, so I need to come to Botswana too. I'm waiting for that church. You are coming, my Lord, to Botswana. I'm waiting for that church to be completed, you know. Yes, that's why I gave you a bed to Namibia. This was supposed to be happening in Botswana. But now look. <laughs> you are saying what? Namibia needs baptism, needs what? Namibia needs prophet the most. And we are thankful for what we see today. It's so marvelous, thanks to Jesus. Can you, can you record her giving this testimony? Come, my daughter, here. Come and say it in front of the camera here. Come and say it on what you have seen. You are saying Namibia? Namibia needs prophet the most. It is so marvelous what we see today. The cripple is walking like the baby here in front of us. What we never see these things, but today we can see it. Glory to God. I even realize the sun somewhere the sun is over something like a smoke go going down. I even show the people here and said, look to the sun. You saw that thing? I told the bishops to record it because the Lord showed me in the dream and he said he would bring it for his servant and I kept telling them to record it. You recorded? They recorded? Yay! Yay! The glory of the Lord! What is it? Today! Today, make sure you record the glory because the Lord showed me in the dream in the night and he said this is for my servant I'll do this for my prophet he today and I told them please this time don't miss it and she saw you saw it it is so powerful yes uh, uh, Archbishop it is now almost uh, a month that I told Archbishop I can't wait for the moment to see the prophet and to see the wonders and today I saw the wonders and I said thank you Jesus for the wonders that I saw oh my Lord you are so wonderful I glorify your name through the prophet that you sent to Namibia in Jesus name are you aware that the Lord spoke to me in the dream in the night so he told me that he would beam the glory beam the glory to his servant so when I woke up I started warning all the bishops I said please today make sure you record the glory of God and later about midday I called them have you charged all your phones I don't want to hear someone saying my phone lacked batteries and then they recorded it <laughs> Finland is waiting, 
I know they are watching very seriously. TV7 Finland. I know they are watching now. They are waiting. I am coming now. I'm coming to Helsinki and you must play. It's over. This must happen there too. The Lord now is taking the nations. He's taking the weak ones. The forgotten voices. Those who are no legs. And he's using them to win nations now. How mighty. It is very mighty my Lord. That the Lord has brought his might as prophet here. And on our own side and seen a creep of baby has walked here. But this is the wonder of the Lord Jehovah. The wonder. The wonder. The hands become strong. Hallelujah. Oh yes, 
Yeah, yes, I'm coming to you, my daughter. It's really your story I was about to say here. Then things, ever since then, things are happening. All throughout, I told you, just wait, your time is coming, right? I saw you there and I said, what are crutches still doing here, right? Yes, what are you saying? That's okay, you can give up. So what happened to you? What, what, Archbishop Asuka, you have a microphone, you have a microphone. You... Well, she was, she was hit uh, with a uh, stone here. Oh. She got paralyzed. The whole you got paralyzed the whole of the right hand side? From the eye to the arm and the neck, and she was using You were using this. So today, today when you came here, what was your condition? I know we recorded her, but what was your condition when you came here today? She was about to and she was about to my arm and my my leg was not able to to move. To move, they were stiff and they paralyzed or something. It was paralyzed. Mm. Yeah, yes, sir. So I had the comparison in my the head. On the head. On the head. They are trying to correct it. The, the whole they, of this side. They operated. They operated the brain to try to correct and correct this thing. And then after that, which whole side became paralyzed? This right hand side. But now, what happened to you there, my dear? I just felt like uh, uh, electricity on my leg. <laughs> and in this eye, when I look at a person, one person is like... Uh, double, is double. Like, double. But then now... They say... I'm watching now. Now I can see properly. Okay, now, now this is a very big situation happening now. Maybe it's here. This is incredible here. Yeah. <laughs> Can you come to me? That leg is now working. Do, do like this. <laughs> you people, what else are you waiting for? Let us love to Jesus. And, 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 and please, please, please. Let, 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 let us just prepare and enter heaven. Because he said, no, Lord, send me back down there to tell them to prepare. He said, no, I have my prophet there. If they don't believe him, believe you me, just stay here. Huh? <laughs> let us walk then. The mighty walk. Come. But Jesus is Lord. He is so mighty. <laughs> I told you today, when I came and stood up there, what did I say? I saw it. You said everything will change, right? What did he say up there? You talk about the revival. I don't understand what is a revival. Today is my first time to hear about it. Can you come, can you come and say this before the, the, the TV here? No, because the man of God said, everything is going to change here today. And, <laughs> and really it has changed. It has really changed. Thank you so much. Come, my daughter. So, so, so now, beloved people, you are saying, what is your name, my daughter? My name is Frida Pietres. Frida Pietres. Now, you said you have been hearing revival, 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 revival. I hear about the revival. It's my first time to hear about the revival. Because I just read in the Bible, revival. Now I see in my eyes, what is the meaning of revival? I, did somebody hear what I've just heard? From, from my daughter here. You said, now you see really the meaning, what is real revival? Yes, I see what is revival and I can see the coming of Jesus is nearby. Please repent. And what I want to say for the whole nation of Namibia, Namibia is so blessed to be sent a prophet like you. It's my first time to see miracles and wonders. The sign is showing us now. Hey! Oh, that Jesus? That Jesus is God, Jehovah Jireh. Hey! Jehovah is powerful. God is powerful. We serve a living God up there. 
He is a president of Namibia. We want this prophet of God to come back. Thank you so much. I am ready to come. Yes. I'm ready to come. I'm ready to serve this country. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. Let me take that picture. So it's well now. This is your daughter. Now it's well. Now it's well. Thank you. Thank you. It's well now. Thank you. Now this is so big. Have you heard what I've heard? <laughs> I told you. I told you. That is why I come to this land. That Jesus may have his way here and win your hearts and take my daughter why are you so sad in the middle of revival come to me and say to me just one second I don't have my time come and say to me why you are so sad you say, oh you are just struck this is your husband it is well now my father, my son it's well Yes, it is well now. You will not have that problem again. Not of people, but they are not people. No, but it is well now. It's finished. I've, I've decreed with my prophetic tongue that it is well. Thank you, it is well. Have you had me clearly? So, by the way, from there, I was just seeing that I'm not sick. I was waiting until you now hear it. But now it's powerful. It's well now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Even those eyes... So this is big. Come and sit down here. Come and sit down, my daughter. But I say to you people, I say, let me just give you the message of the blood of Jesus. And I say, the blood is powerful. This served them in Egypt. It's continuing to serve man. And I say, everything just is Helen. Come and talk to me. I don't want to put you on the line, my dear. Very senior judge in the judiciary in this country. But come to me. I want you to talk to this camera again. You came, my daughter, you came to me, and you said, if Namibia goes to hell, it is you to blame. <laughs> she told me that if Namibia will go to hell, it is me the Lord will slaughter. <laughs> yes, my Lord, because I'm the one who has known the truth, and I did not convey the message to the nation. Now the judge of the high court places like this, a very principal judge, I don't want to mention to them which area you control. But man, this is awesome. It is Jesus wonderful. is coming. <laughs> Amen. There are no limits to this glory. Hallelujah. Amen. It you, is powerful. You, it is powerful. It is powerful. Yes. I long for this. Yes. I traveled several times to Kenya. So many. Wanting to see this happening in Namibia. Mm. Finally, it has come. My dream has been realized. The mighty prophet of the Lord has come in Namibia. And revival has just broken out. And he has uh -huh. promised that greater is still happening. We are waiting again for the next time. No, I, I, no I am ready to come back, says the Lord. Amen. <laughs> I told you, I'm the cheapest you can get. Very cheap. Amen. An email. An email. The, the streets are clean. The good I can lie there with a blanket. And if someone gives me a cold soda, I will drink it. Uh, mostly I will fast. And then serve the Lord. Jesus had no home. My Lord had no home. He lay his ribs on the rocks of the Mount of Olives. So please, don't worry where will you stay, what will you eat. No. So I think tonight is when we are breaking the fast, right? I said, no. These things don't matter anymore now. But the souls to enter, the nations must enter that the devil may fail. The devil must go down now. Yes. That is now the most important. We have not yet suffered the point of death. No. Not yet. Hallelujah. Amen. So you told me that the Lord would slaughter you if Namibia goes to hell. Amen. I was so scared. Because it appears to be very hard mm. to get you to Namibia. No, it was very easy. Remember, I told you it's very easy. I only need to be dispatched. You understand? Amen. To be released. But I'm so shocked because I, I, the Lord spoke to me that he's going to release the glory, right? Amen. And so I called the senior archbishop first, this professor here. I called him and I told him, hey, my son, tell all the other bishops to check their cameras. This time, don't miss the glory. Record it. And when it comes, shout to people. Let them also have a chance to record it. Well, many times they always record it on their own. You find this, 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 this are recorded and the others were not told. So I said, do they please shout, remember? And so he summoned all the bishops. No, he has, he has not worried, it's yours. He summoned the bishops to, to his room and he was telling them, please, make, because I said, make sure their phones are charged. 
They said, no, I would have recorded, but the phone was lost power. But they checked the phone, and they said, you've checked each phone full charge. Then the glory came down. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Because in the dream, in the dream, in the dream, he told me he would do this. So I just wanted a few people to catch, you know. I didn't want to announce it, you know. Hallelujah. So we are seeing the wonders of this hour, the people are getting up and walking. This is the most beautiful day. And so you are saying, the slaughter, if you have to do this, because you just for your own eternity. Huh? Yes. Can you talk to me justice? Yes, um, for your own future and well-being. Yes, we have to follow the message which was been, which has been downloaded here in Namibia. Yes, we have to follow to repent. Yes, we have to prepare ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have to follow the way of the Lord. Yes, for our eternity. But no, but I want to ask you, what is this that is in Namibia for me to come twice? Because I mean, I've not been to Russia, I'm just getting my way now to Russia and to Ukraine. But now Namibia is uh, celebrating these kind of things here twice. And if you ask the Slovakians, they're watching, they will tell you, no, 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 we need only that one to work and we have as the whole country. Now what is this? It is the love of God, <laughs> the unconditional love of God. So what you're saying? There are something here, my Lord, that you must come back because you are in but, but that, that is known, my daughter. It's known world over, my daughter. But I will receive your invitation. I will accept to come. I want to serve you in this land. Got come, my daughter, and speak in the camera here because th this is the hour now. This is the hour for me to talk to Namibians. Because I told Kenya, the glory is too big in Kenya. But I said, heaven is not for Kenya alone. Please release me. Let me go. I also for other nations. And I told them, I'm not Kenyan. I came from the Lord, right? And so now you're saying that you catch this. You are catching it and uh, inviting me again. Don't move around, Mike. Yes. First of all, maybe I might not be speaking nice English. No, you just go and play that speak your English. Very good as well. English, you understand that. Important. I do put it next to you, not here, sir. What I was saying is, so many prophets have come. So you, why, why, why is Namibia always shopping and buying many prophets from South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana? They come here, they have a lot of money. You never see such things. <laughs> Can somebody clap to Jesus? What I realized today, the things I saw today, we usually watch. No, the first time I came, did, are you aware that I came some time back here? No. I came and I clashed. You know about the clash, right? I clashed with them here. And I left. <laughs> but today when men of God come and stand on that stage, yeah. I saw stars, shining stars. Then I was saying, my God, what's wrong with my eyes? What's wrong with your eyes? Yeah. But that is but what he normally says, because many times when he sees the glory, he can't step the handkerchief back. Is it my camera or what? You know? Seriously, shining. Then I was asking myself, my God, what's wrong? Then I was even making my eyes a bit like this. Oh, yes. But I saw you where you were sitting. Yeah, but the stars are just shining. So you are saying they, they purchased many prophets from other countries, these false prophets, who have come here defiled your daughters. Some of them try to marry your daughter to get their citizenship here. I know the story. I know the full story. They just come to make money. To make money? Yeah. But now, here you are now. But now, they just come for free. It is true they are giving people stickers and water and a white money and they say people must trust and brooms. And brooms. Apparently they say they are helping those who have little people. But that's not true. You must speak the word of God. If the one must heal you, the one must change you. No, but you say you, you really heard what I said here to the blood. It is the blood now that is doing what see. I said, don't worry, first listen to my message about eternity because the blood is going to heal you people here. So they sell this water so much. Can you sit down, my daughter? And then they tell you to get uh, uh, flight tickets. You go to Nigeria with some big money there. So they do it's these things money. to you here, right? They become travel agents now, right? Are they doing this thing here, really? Yes. Uh, what is going on in this land, right? They do that thing, right? And the corruption is just getting worse and worse. And poverty, the more they pray. It's true. And witchcraft. It's and now I believe this man, this boyfriend of mine, the Angolian one. Yes and yes, he didn't go to Angola, but from today, I believe he will go to Angola. Because if he's bringing you, you see 
the people are talking things in Portuguese. So today I believe everything has been healed. Amen. Is it true the pastor of nowadays and the prophets? Like me, I prophets. Okay. Yeah. I went to a lot of church. I was giving anointing water. I was giving um, anointing oils. Nothing it happened. But today I came in a lot of cheeses. I was not eating for three months. But now I can drink this cook in a mighty number of cheeses. Now maybe I repent. Repent. Yes. The youth of Namibia. Yes. The youth of Namibia. Let's not let's not be the hearers and not be the followers yes. for the others. Let's stand up and follow Jesus in the name of Jesus. What you do? To follow him like that? <laughs> That's mighty. That's very mighty. It's from the heart. They are speaking from the heart because the Lord has come to liberate them from abuse. From abuse. The Lord has come to set them free from abuse. Now they can talk. They are reporting to the Lord what has been done to them. You are blocking people here. They are my two daughters here. No, you are stepping on them. These two daughters here. I want them to follow because they, when they said that the cost they came forward, right? We will just move forward here. Move forward here. So, because now the Lord has come to liberate them. And so now they are reporting the abuses they have been through. Because the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel 34. But you have not looked for the lost. You have not bound up the injured. You, 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 you mistreated them. You treated them with cruelty and brutality. And then they were so hungry, they went to every hill they saw looking for pasture. Those hills are any evangelist that comes to town. When they see evangelists come like this now, has come from Zambia, they say, ah, ah, that, that one might be good, let me get it there. They reached there, and then he said, when they reached there, they became food for the beasts. They were eaten again. And then when they say another one that came from South Africa, they went there, eat. So this is what they are doing. They are now reporting to the Lord that, Lord, look at the abuse we have gone through. And now we have seen that the Lord, He is good. We will follow Him and we will walk with Him. That's what she demonstrated here. We will walk with Jesus now and not buy into the abuse of the false apostles and prophets. And you know, the Lord sent me the sword to slaughter them. That's what I do globally. And, and when I mean slaughter, it's very serious. The other side of me, you don't know, right? So this is a very serious thing happening. They are laying a case before the Lord on what has happened in the house to them. Because they have real felt needs. Look at this baby. She wants this baby to walk. How can they, how can you then ask her for money? I don't understand this. How cruel do you have to be? Hmm? Look at my daughter here, a whole reverend. She was preaching, but the hand is stuck. It's paralyzed, the finger is paralyzed, the whole reverend there. Until she came and said, this tumor here, this hand is paralyzed. And now it's released. So these are wonders and testimonies of this hour, of our time. And they will live forever. And one day when you get to heaven, you say, Lord, thank you very much. Because finally we stepped away from the abuse and deception. Right? And they entered. So you said it has been so uh, very bad, very bad. Even they, they, they print t-shirts. They print t-shirts. And then they are selling. Okay, man, that is to make money. That's pure making money, yeah. right? And even water. They, w what water? Even water they are selling. Even that, well, $50. They are making money. Just, just to sit next to a prophet, you pay thousands and thousands. To, to go and see a prophet, you have to... To sit, to sit next to him. To sit next to a prophet? Yeah, yes. It's happening here in America. Did, did, did you see the glory of the transfiguration? Yes. Did anybody see that? Did somebody see that? Or say you did not see? The two of you are not there. Did you see? You saw it. Okay, then can you take the glory, the hem of his garment? Take the hem for free. Thank you. Free of charge. Free of charge. That when you sit next, you pay a thousand dollars. Ah. Even the water that they are giving you, you have to pay. Even seven thousand. Yeah. Yeah. He said we cannot go to the men of to the men of God with empty hands. Okay, now the Lord has sent you a cheap one for free. 
That's all right. And with power, make no mistake about it. With extreme power, look at the whole world, what he has done to the world. Look at the earthquakes and everything, the bloodshed. Look at everything happening, the prophecies he has given. With power and extreme power. Did you understand me well? Because to take my force from the devil's deep and to give back to Jesus. Yes. So it is going to happen to you people. This is just the beginning. I'm so glad. Is that angel still? The angel, come and tell me what the problem is. Angel, you come to me first. Angel will come first. Run, run, angel. And tell me, you present her case. What is happening with her? She couldn't stand up from her low chair and her knees and her shoulders were burning, but now she's standing up straight. <laughs> come, my daughter, come walk with me, walk with me. <laughs> now, the daughter that gave me the piece of meat again over here. She said she presented the case. She, was, she kept saying, can, can, "Do you have a moment for us? We are seeing that you are a busy prophet. Do you have a moment for us? <laughs> you are now working in the name of the Lord Jesus. How awesome when the Lord touches someone of your age! It's so powerful. It's awesome. It's glorious. Amen. Oh, hallelujah! Amen. God is good. You, can you sit there where the healed have sat? Thank you so much. So you are telling me, yeah, this is what has been happening in the land. You, you really laid out a serious case. You said the hour for liberation to be set free is now. You, you even talk to the nation. You say, Namibia, let us now walk with Jesus and forget about these liars. So they may change and come after changing. I can even tell you, a, a, there was a prophet who gave me a... a well, a well. An oil, yes. Yeah, the olive oil. Yeah. And I'm having this problem of a uh, umbilical. I don't know how to say it in English. Yes, yes, yes. The doctor says it's a derm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, growing in the main. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And now he said I must just apply it there. And I'm having a problem of this steel paper is his name. Okay, now I just want to say the following. That all that is cancelled in the name of Jesus. And now the Lord will heal you. The blood of Jesus will heal you. These are the words I've spoken to you with my terrible prophetic tongue. And so it will be well. Next time you'll be standing here celebrating across this nation. And that's why for me, this is a big thing that has happened. I know that I'm about to leave now. But for those who are not yet healed, can I say something here? Remember, remember that uh, I'm going to take a piece of paper all. I'm going to take all of them. Remember, number one, that the Messiah is coming. Number two, remember that many times after such a healing service, then I told those who are not yet healed, some of you will reach home. Some will, it will be in the car. Some in the car. Like some of them in uh, in, in Pont Noir, Pont Noir in uh, Congo, Brazzaville, who was totally blind. The daughter brought him there. Others were healed. He was not healed. And I said, some in the car. So he was moved, brought into the car as usual. Same blind, closed the door. They drove home, but reaching home, when she came to open for him, he opened, and she wanted to leave him, said, no, 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 I can see. So, so you see that some of you will find that you have been healed on the way, some at home. Why? Because the blood of Jesus is still flowing, and it's free of charge. And finally, he has sent you the cheapest. And thank God he sent you from this side of Africa, so that now you can afford him. You see that? Okay, now you can afford him. He is now affordable, right? Yes, because now he comes from the village hearts of Africa. So every widow and orphan, and then every, even the rich now can come, but the poor now can afford. Right? Yes, otherwise it becomes a very, very expensive God you cannot reach. If you have to take a flight ticket, you have to carry $10,000, $7,000. Now, the message I brought is to clean up the church. You understand very well. To clean up the church, the Messiah is coming. I have seen the Messiah, the coming of the Messiah. The Lord has brought me before his throne. And if I shared a message on heaven, the splendor and magnificence of heaven, you would give up everything to make sure you enter there and not go the other way. You understand? So for those of you that preach the gospel, just hearken to righteousness. Teach righteousness. Rebuke sin. 
you refuse, reject sin. It does not matter your nationality or, or where you're from. Just refuse sin and the Lord will help you. It began in a small way in Kenya. Now it's a big, big revival. Historic. Bigger than written in the Bible. That's just how big it is now. And you too now have joined this wonderful revival train of the Lord. Because the train for the first three days stopped here. This station and the Lord asked you to come on board. And I can see you have really come on board. So then when the train lifts, we can lift together to the kingdom of God, right? May the Lord bless you all. Bless you. I want to say one word. I want to take, uh, I bless this in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. So it's where the door is open. Big door. Big door. Now listen to this now. So I'm taking, let me start taking the prayer request because I, this is my calling. This is exactly what you sent me to do. In fact, in that dream, I was asleep and the right, the left hand of the Lord from this side pointed like this. I want you to go pray for these people. And we're showing you all these nations. So this is really the calling, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. Touch. Come touch. Touch again. Touch again. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you have a writing, I take it. Thank you. Even the picture, I take don't worry, I'll just take the prayer request. Don't worry, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, I'll take the picture. Thank you so much. All is well now. All is well, don't worry. Okay, can I take the prayer request myself from their hands? Can you allow me to take from their hands myself? I want to take from their hands myself. Thank you so much, beloved people. Okay, okay, I'm not yet going. I'm not yet going because I need to talk to my daughters here. You can't sit down here. Sit down here. I'm not yet going. Can you go back to your place? Then I'll go to talk from you. Yes, go, go down. Don't worry, I'll come. I'll come to you. I'm not yet going because I need to talk to my daughter here. I've not yet talked to you. How can I go? So you say, come, come to me, my daughter. In the manner, let, let me just allow me to talk this here. I'm going, I'm going to come and talk, take from you. Can you give me a moment? Thank you, my daughter. Thank you indeed. Thank you so much. I bless you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. I, okay, I rather bless you like this. Thank you. Thank you. Another one. Give me that one. Those are, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm going to take this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So can you give me a moment, beloved, before I take the papers? Thank you so much. G give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment now. The senior bishop is somewhere. Right? Hold for me. Every piece. Okay, now. C c come to me. I need the camera. No, even if you fall is alright because today you have stood up and walked and you became stable. If you fall, then I know really you have not walked before. So uh, I want you to come around and turn and face the side. First, first of all, let me just walk that you are recorded live, that the world may see what the Lord has done here today. You are walking with me now, right? Thank you so much. So now the glory of the Lord is supporting you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> No, that's okay. Thank you, thank you. The Lord bless you, beloved people. Thank you so much. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Let me go now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come, everybody. Come, everybody. So the cameras are seen. Don't block it. I, I will come to you and take all the papers. Yeah, don't worry. Can you turn around and come with me? Just walk because I want the world to see what has happened here today. Just slowly by slowly, more stable, because now you're walking with me. And the glory of the Lord will support you. Bit by bit, and more stable, and more stable, and more stable. I see very senior people here. I see a very senior director of intelligence here. I'm sorry to say it publicly, my son. <laughs> From Angola. <laughs> come, 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 come. Come, you see that? I, because now, this shows that the Lord walked here today. We visited this place today. I'm going to take from everybody. Let me first handle this first. Yes, I have touched it, yes. So now, can you turn and face me, my daughter? Come over. Come to me now. Thank you, my son. So now, look at this now, beloved. Are you going to open for me a little bit also? My two daughters from Pentecostal Church. I didn't even know what ranks. What were the ranks? You are the wives of the pastors or you are the pastors yourselves? You are the pastors yourselves. We are part of the ACPC. Yes, I'm the pastor. That's very mighty. So that's why I want to in front of you. Where are you? Oh, sorry. Can you stand over here and face the camera? 
no, because walking with you, you know, it does so much to me. Because it tells me that the Lord walked here today. He did some serious work. I want the world to see. Look at the things that have happened in Namibia. So, you're telling me the doctors, according to their own writings, they went to school, they read medicine, right? Review the compendium of medicine, all these big books, right? And they looked at your case and they said, no, you have lost it, you have lost balance, right? And they say that's it. They're calling it the uh, myelopathy. Yeah, they say. Uh, <coughs> because it's on, on, it's on the membrane. Yeah, I know. Yes. There's an inflammation in the spinal cord, and uh, they're putting me on. At your age, right? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 29. At your age, they were saying that is it. Yeah. It is gone. Yeah, and. They kept me on medication and I'm still on medication. That medication ended today, right? Yes. And day by day I'm losing balance and also strength. And sometimes uh, the legs get stiff and also my voice also gets stiff uh, sometimes. And Your voice gets stiff? Yes. Yeah. So that you cannot speak well? Yeah. So it's touching the central nervous system, if we understand right. Yeah, exactly. But can you sing with me? No more now. Please, please, that's the pastor. Just leave her. Yes, she's a pastor. Thank you. So, so tell me, your voice is now normal. It's now normal. And then you are you regained balance. You, you told me that there's a moment where the Lord touched you and you just something like electric. What is it that touched you? Electricity or something? Uh, I, I feel a little bit of a trigger in the muscle. A trigger? Yeah. Something like a. Uh, uh, the muscle that is pulled or something of that nature. And then you got up. And then I got up. <laughs> that is so mighty. Jen Machaka. Are you seeing this? This is too big. I don't have time. I need to leave now. But I really appreciate you know now you want to testify Jesus, right? You really have to go to that doctor. Uh, normally I like to send people back there so that they may do another imaging and then the doctor say, hey, what is this? That First of all, when he walks through the clinic, he says, is that you or, or somebody else I'm seeing? Because he sees you walking with all the sticks. He said, no, doctor, it's me. He said, what happened to you? What did you eat? He said, no, doctor, have you heard about Jesus? <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely has to go big. And, uh, and the pain is over? Yeah, it's over now. It's over now. Have healed me. He has healed you. Yeah, I'm thankful. You're thankful. <laughs> so, can I ask you a question? Are you born again? Yes, I'm born again. Which church do you go to? Uh, the Potter's House Christian Fellowship Church. So, you are going to think about church now properly, right? Yes. Because if you can be in a church and they allow you to dress like that, yeah. Mm, then you are going to think about church properly now. Okay. Because if they, no wonder you suffered all this time, right? Yeah. If you can be in church, born again, at this late hour in the history of the church, when the Messiah is coming and they still allow you to dress like this. I know the entire Kenya is watching and they are so horrified and mortified. But no, you cannot be mortified. Because let's give this people a chance to meet the Lord. Yes, from where they are. Even you began at a place. And it was not good also. And then the Lord dressed you, you looked better now. Hallelujah. So you're saying that now you're going to be able to be born again properly? Yes, I'm going to be. <laughs> uh, my Your name? My name is Sylvia. Sylvia. So you're going to receive salvation properly, change your dressing and live to glorify the Lord. Okay. Are you aware that that thing would have sent you down? With a spinal cord injury, an injection of which protein in the spinal cord, what were to open the brain and probably paralyze for all the rest of your life. Yeah. And so Jesus has lifted you up, right? Thank you. Yes.
has raised you from the ground, right? Yes, thank you, Ji. Yeah, so then we, we, we honor him, right? He has relief for him. If it is married, you marry right in the church, right? Yes, and you dress well. Now we dress uh, to honor him, right? We dress for him. Yes, and you are still my daughter, remember? Okay? The Lord bless you indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amen. Can you sit down somewhere? I'm going to check the papers. So, I tell you, thank you so much. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. What is this person with the wounds? Okay, but so call them and tell them it's well. Thank you. I'm going to come to you. Are you going to allow me to come to you? Okay, no, let me take from you. I want to take you as this. Now you're stable, you don't fall. <laughs> Thank you, my daughters. Thank you so much, the worship team. Thank you indeed. Thank you so much, the worship team. Even the blessed little one. You have been such a blessing to me, right? The, get, get me those two. The little worshiper. You have been such a big blessing to me, right? And to the Lord, right? Thank you indeed. Thank you. Thank you so much. I need to be taking them. Take this. Thank you so much. Thank you indeed, Namibia. I'm coming. Now I have a family in Namibia. I have a home. I am coming. Once I have I find people, you know, I have no nation. So if I find people that love me, I come. I come more often and we serve the Lord together, right? Hallelujah. And it will be big. Now I found a family. Sit down, everybody. Did you give me a hug? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now I have a family in Namibia. I'm coming back. I have every reason to return. So I'm coming to you people to take your papers. Before I say the last blessings, I'm going to bless the land and the people before I leave. Hallelujah. My daughter spoke something big here. said, I have been hearing about revival, revival, revival. But today I saw revival. So that's a very remarkable thing for somebody to say. I'm going to give closing remarks on our live broadcast also. I'm going to give closing remarks on our live broadcast also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed. The Lord bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you, my sons. Thank you very much, my sons. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you so much. Thank you indeed. Thank you so much. I'll take it. I'm going to take this in the name of the Lord as well now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you so much, my daughter. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, my son. Thank you so much, my daughter. Thank you, indeed. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, my son. Thank you so much, my daughter. Thank you, my son. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you so much, indeed. Thank you. Thank you, my son. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much, my daughter. It is well. I have blessed you in the name of Jesus as well. So can you find a church now? You'll find a church? My daughter, you'll find a church? Find a church now. Find a church. There are pastors around. Yes, uh, uh, Bishop. Bishop Omar um, um, Bishop of um, where are you? Archbishop. Yes, can you take her phone number and just help my daughter here? She, I told her to find a check, but take her number. Go there, go to her. Or go with her. She's here, she's here. She's there with you. Yes, take her number and bring her to church. Thank you. Thank you so much, my daughter. Please do. Do. Yes. Yes. A very good job. You are just like Jesus when he was on earth. He never asked for anything in return. You are just doing the same deeds. And I'm also asking for Prophet to please pray for our family members that couldn't make it today. Maybe you can bless them wherever they are besides them not being here. Okay, can you give me their names right away? I have my grandma either. She's very sick. She has a problem with her stomach. It swells up whenever she eats. It, my grandma in Katima, my son, my family, everyone that's Okay, tell them it is well. Did you hear the words of my tongue? It is well. You reach home, you find big changes also. Thank you so much. I bless you. I don't greet, I just bless you. Thank you, my son. Thank you so much, my son. You've suffered, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of right, yes, that's right. So I'm going to I'm going to meet you and before I leave this place. Amen. Yes, thank you, right? Thank you and pray for you. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you so much. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you, my daughter. Once I say I bless you, it is done. You heard me? Thank you. Oh, yes, I'm going to bless you. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. 
He sent me to you. He sent, him, he sent me to you, my daughter. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you very much, my daughter. Thank you, my son. Thank you, my daughter. I need to bless the baby. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you so much, my daughter. I blessed you. I have laid my hand on this in the name of the Lord. Let, 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 let me bless you. Yeah? Yes, I don't believe that I can bless you. I blessed you. So now the baby. What's the name of the baby? Patience. I bless this precious baby in the mighty name of Jesus and I dedicate this baby to Jesus. And I decree that the Lord will watch this baby, present this baby, even the dreams of this baby. And this baby will be brought up in a God-fearing way, even as we wait for the coming of the Messiah. Because of this baby, the Lord will provide for you very well. But this baby may never know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I've done that in the name of the Lord. I bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you, I've touched you. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you. Now I, I can see I have a family in Namibia. I must come back. I bless you very much. Thank you. I believe the Lord will bless your eyes. Thank you so much. The Lord will open your eyes. Thank you. Thank you. I've said it in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Give it to me. This is the reason the Lord sent me. This is the reason. Thank you so much. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I, I lay my hand on this in the name of Jesus. So it is well now. Thank you, my son. I take this. This is my calling. Thank you. It is well now. It is well, baby. This is well. I bless you. I bless the baby in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I bless you, my daughter. I've laid my hand on this. Do you want me to take it? I've laid my hand on it. So it's well. I bless this baby in the name of Jesus. The Lord will release this baby. You help me. Did you hear the words of my tongue? Did you hear what I've just said? The Lord is going to release this baby. You help me, right? Have you helped me? I have said, can I say again? I have said the Lord will bless this baby to walk. Will will release the baby. Can somebody help me? I say the Lord will the, yeah, the Lord will bless this baby. The Lord will heal the baby. The, the, this baby will walk. This baby is going to walk. I've decreed with my terrible prophetic tongue that the baby walks. You will testify on that. Thank you so much, my daughter. Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you so much. Thank you, my daughter. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless the baby. I bless, bless your baby. It is well. Just be at peace, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I bless you. I bless this baby. Thank you so much. Thank you, my. Thank you so much. Could I take this? Thank you so much. I bless you, my daughter. So now I come back because I have you people here. Yes, you just invite me. I come. Free of charge, I come, right? Thank you so much, the Lord bless you. Is what? Now it is well. He will not collapse in the evening again. I've cancelled that in the name of... Give it to me, my son. I want to take it from you. Thank you. You want... Is there something else here? Thank you so much. Can I take it from you, my daughter? The Lord bless you. I say in the conference, the Lord bless you. It will It will happen. I'll be clear in the name of the Lord. Your names? Veronica. All is well now in the name of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, precious baby. I bless you very much. I bless you, my son. I bless you. I bless you very much. Thank you. I take it. Thank you so much. I bless you, my son. I bless you, my daughter. I bless you, my daughter. I bless you, my son. I think that is it now. I bless you very much. How about these ones here? Thank you so much. I bless you. I take this one from you, my daughter. I bless you. I bless you, my daughter. Bless you, my daughter and my son. I bless you, my daughter. Thank you, well, my daughter. Do you help me? It's well. It's well. Thank you so much. It's well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much as well. It's well. Oh, this wonderful worshiper. It's well. It's well and it's well. And it's absolutely well, even with the baby and the other one. You help, you help me. That one will see. Yes, yeah, she's there. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I bless you. I bless you so much. Thank you so much. I am blessed you, my son, as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. I bless you, my daughter. Just hold on for me, beloved people. Thank you. I'm coming your way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't step on him there. Don't step down there. Thank you. Stay. Thank you. 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 I take this now. I bless you. I bless you, my daughter. I bless you very much in the name of the Lord. Thank you so much. You love Jesus. I can see very much. Now I want to speak to the camera before I leave. 
I want to speak to the camera. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you so much. I'm coming back because you invited me. Thank you. You're going to work with, uh, with Archbishop of Nigovin, right? Yes, and then I come. You work with them, right? What's your name? Miriam who? Miriam Amdenia. Okay, I have called her back in the name of the Lord. Have you heard my words? I have called her back. Have you heard me? You will get her back. Did you just hear what I said? You will praise the Lord for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, my son from Zambia. See you. Thank you. I want to say this now as I leave in closing remarks. I want to say that you saw what the Lord has done here today. We began with two days of very serious conference at which there was zero compromise. He spoke in very clear terms. There was no ambiguity in the message he delivered to the church. The Lord spoke in strict terms about the need for us to go back to righteousness and to pursue the gospel of repentance even as it's being preached or as we live as Christians. And uh, he brought it to this church that time is over. And this is a beautiful, beautiful reprieve, a moment of brief, a fresh breath of God into the church. And we know what has happened in the Southern African nations in the church. It's global though, but we also know the narrative of the Southern African region, how the false prophets have actually abused the church. They come here, the story is unbelievable. They even defy their daughters at the end of it all. Yeah, and so that, that has not been a good image and testimony of Christ Jesus, my Lord. The gospel that Jesus gave to us is a holy gospel. It's the gospel of repentance and holiness. And holiness is what brings us to heaven. The Bible is clear on this. And so, the Lord also gave some very important conversation on the announcement of the coming of the Messiah. I stood in this land and I announced to them that I have seen the Messiah coming from the church. And I say, when he comes to the church, I have also been privileged to see the church he takes. And he takes a holy church, a glorious church, a righteous church, a church that is separated, living a separate life as you see in 2 Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 14 to 18, where darkness and light cannot be mixed. The church that has not mixed darkness and light. The church that cannot mix this wickedness you see today with the righteousness of Jesus. A church where the worshipping of Jesus cannot be mixed with idol worship. If you read that narrative in that scripture of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 14 to 18, you see the church he was talking about here. Now, if there's anything the Lord ever spoke to Israel and ever spoke to the church, it is separation. In fact, in Hebrew, I lived in Israel. The Lord called me from Israel in seven years. For seven years as I was there, I learned a few things there. The Hebrew word for holy shares the same root word with separation. And that's why the high priest always had a writing on his turban that says set apart or holy unto the Lord. But the word they share, holiness and separation, the word they share is called set apart. So in other words, when Isaiah says to the Lord, holy, holy, when he heard the seraphim, they pronounce holy, holy unto the Lord. Essentially what they were saying is that set apart, set apart, set apart is the Lord. He separated. Even when he announces that he is lofty high, set up his chambers above the storehouses of the water, it essentially bespeaks set apart and separated. And that's why I want to bring to you, beloved people, who have been watching this broadcast today, the live streaming, that after announcing the return to holiness and righteousness, the Lord has done tremendous workings here, wonders in the eyes of these people, to affirm, I saw it earlier, I saw it much earlier in the dreams as he spoke with me, before he came and when I came, and also yesterday and even this morning. And he also talked to me about the glory that would beam from the sky like this. And he said, that would be for you, my servant. So I was talking to my team about it, as I said, to make sure they try and catch it. So now, these are the affirmations that revival is here and the Messiah is coming. And so you have seen how the Lord now has affirmed to this nation of Namibia that surely, yes, the Messiah is coming. A revival has broken out. 
these are now the instruments of that revival. This precious baby that needs to be speaking next to me as I talk. As I talk, he's the one supposed to be right next to me here. <laughs> this, I wish I could even go with you. <laughs> Very powerful. So now, uh, this is the hour at which uh, such wonders become the instruments of the revival he's talking about. So he will use this to win many souls. And my message to the pastors, if you're out here, now change your sermons. Begin with you. Look at yourself. What is it in you that you're doing that is not glorifying the Lord? If you're a male pastor, is it familiarity with girls in the church where there's a wrong testimony coming out? Then you just stop them for the sake of Christ. What is at stake now is so big. And if it's my daughter, the lady pastors, begin with your person. Look at your person. Does it glorify the Lord? Or are you walking naked? Are you showing your body to people? Are you doing what is abominable before the Lord? And then once we start from there, then we can now preach it. Once we transform and we reform and make amends, then we can preach it. I'm standing next to this precious baby that uh, was born totally crippled and paralyzed. And today stood up here and walked. And this is the testament that surely yes, the Lord has sent me to this land. Namibia, I am coming back. I found a home in you. And I love you, the love of Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you again and bless you forever. Shalom, shalom over her. Toda, toda. Ani, and thank you so much. I'll, I'll bless you. I'll lay my hand on you, my daughter. Thank you so much. I'll touch you. Thank you. Toda, toda. Toda, Jehovah, Miss Yuan. Thank you.
was lost if you have picked up a cell phone. Please. And also somebody lost this. If you are not this one, just come and identify yourself. Take care of the babies. Thank you very much. Go and enjoy your healing. Go and enjoy your healing and find a good church to teach you the word of God. That you might continue.